If love and gogi is wrong, I don't want to be right. What would Socrates say to that? It tickles my face. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Goosies. I don't have hair. Oof. You got Marcos. That's not. No, that's not. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's is. true. You do got me. Get over here, Marcos. Let me look at you. They don't want it. Top it in Leroy, ready to deploy. Had a hit with a little dirt lizard, but that was a decoy. Better have about me, boy. Okay. Leroy Tobin, all to the show, man. Still some the with the show, and till then is half moon open. Sometimes go taste like a snowman. No proof I'm alive by the motor. No proof. Like I always wanted him, I never hated him, I never traded him, and if I did, I never traded him. Know what? what is a star like under the city? The driver's side fly. We should get large, so many more. Ten in the more, never a bar. Hey, ten in the more, two to the peak. Nothing to you, but it's something to me. Handsome as ever. Cute as can be, you can watch us on YouTube with you for free. This one time for the Twitch. This one time for the text. This one time for the phone line. Whole time, wonder what they gonna do next. You know, I, I just wish you guys would stop the quibbling. Morning, Morning. everybody. Tobin and Leroy here with you. 560 WQAM. Hello, hey, uh, Leroy. Hello. I would like to make an executive decision. Mm -hmm. I know we're going to do uh, Edmund Watts updates. Yes. Please move them to 12 and 1 o'clock hour because. Well, they're every hour. They're not. It's not. Like oh, it's every hour. Them. It's every hour. Yeah. But, they, don't but tee you, off until, they don't tee off until 10 well, because you know of what? the weather. Our, this Edwin Watts golf shop said they could just be you explain to people that we're on a delay. That's fine. It doesn't you. always have to be a scoreboard. They could, as uh, long yeah, as like the sponsor scores, gets read. I like scores, not, except that score last night. Um, Yeah. So anyway, we'll uh, hit both of them here. Headlines brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Supercenter. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know trucks. Welcome back, Frog, Frog Boy's Boy. Back. Frog Boy's back. That's our headline. <laughs> how are you uh buddy are you are you happy to be away from dad duty for a day uh you know you've been been alone with baby tadpole yeah uh it was great to wake up at four in the morning and be like oh wait this isn't my turn right no, <laughs> hey yeah, that was good that was good i'm telling you one of the most evil looks I ever got from my wife little teaspoon was just a baby a wee lad and i was basically getting up in the morning was she a lad her. she's a wee lass wee lass i was docking her right my wife just turned over to the side then i'd burp her right change the diaper put her back in her little bed i was getting tired right and and and, and i don't know what came over me but heard the crying, turned over the big spoon, and said these words. I remember them well. No need in both of us getting up. I don't have the tools to do what needs to be done. So Ooh. why don't you handle it? Not, uh, not the best. Let's animal. just say for all the new fathers. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do Don't that. Do that. Minus that, one. That was that. Minus I one. Oh, listen. For sass. What I got, that would have made minus one be welcomed. Yep. Yep. And so from that standpoint, from that day on, I have been just daddy of the year. Yes. There you go. I go. Yes. Uh, but. You know, as a new dad, you know, with a new infant, because, you know, Fonz was four or three. That's still very young. It's young. Not not that young. No, it's not. Not where know. we're doing four o'clock in the morning young. And so I learned the hard way, the difficult way, the way that had Big Spoon give me a look. That I have not had since. Yeah, it was cool though. It was uh, just the guys. I was feeding him stuff. Bonding. Have. We were watching WrestleMania. Oh wow, great. good times! Like a real father son duo. Yeah, he had pizza. Don't think you should have pizza. He's a boy. Who cares? Pizza. <laughs> what? Yeah. Does he even have teeth yet? 
You go on some. Uh, you go on he some. Said, interesting... He said a little bit. <laughs> you... you go on some uh, interesting father son tandem sometimes, Marcos. Like uh, recently, my son has been on a mission because he wants Universal Studios. Very obsessed with King Kong recently. He is. Uh, oh. His grandfather got him into King Kong. They went to saw the new King Kong with Godzilla. This kid freaking loves King Kong, and. He, but he doesn't remember, like, the last time we were at Universal, which was, like, right after the pandemic, I said, he goes, you know, they should really have something for King Kong. I said, they do. I think they have a Skull Island ride. Yeah, and he goes, but that's not enough. He's like, they should oh. build. He's like, they should build the entire Skull Island. And oh. I was like, not a bad idea. <laughs> so he goes, who can we talk to about this? I'm like, what? Mm. I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I suppose you write a letter to Universal. And lo and behold, it's uh, we wrote we went to guest services and we just wrote them an email uh, from oh. my email. He doesn't have an email. And I just signed it, you know, Tommy Tobin, eight years old, you know, mm. so they think it's adorable. And his suggestion of I, I actually got because I just got the response this morning from them. Oh, they responded. They responded. Oh, they responded. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Uh, it, yeah, I wrote them a. Th these are the missions you'll go on with your with your kids. Somewhere. Oh yeah, like, I like this. You'll just you just have to. Uh, to whom it may concern, I love King Kong. So I was thinking, maybe you should make King Kong Skull Island an entire theme park. I know you already have the ride, but how awesome would it be to have a whole island for people to visit and enjoy? There should be a cool gift shop. There should be dinosaurs oh. and monsters, and you can have more fun rides. It would also be great if there were games. I just saw the King Kong movie. I really think people would like this theme park, not just one ride. Thank you for reading my letter. Tommy Tobin, eight years old. Wow. wow. I, I got to tell He's you. Pretty good, dude. He put that together more than you put words together at times. <laughs> you know, it, it was very professional. Very, very <laughs> signed, wow, signed and stamped. <laughs> stamped. That's impressive. They said, uh, they, responded? <laughs> they, they responded. Hello, Tommy. Thank you for contacting Universal Orlando Resort. That sounds like the best idea ever. <laughs> oh, thank you for <laughs> suggesting this. We will ensure we send this over to the decision makers and park builders. While we cannot guarantee that this whole park will be built, we will make sure they know our guests want to experience more King Kong. Thank you for contacting us. We look forward to your next visit to our parks. Hey, you know well, what? I, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. Yeah, hey, hey, man, hey, hey, All right. that, that, is that, that right there yeah. is good customer service. It is what There's, even though it. you ain't got a damn chance in hell of nah. having Long Island, nah. right? you ain't Who got likes a chance, it? but we respond <laughs> and and say those magic words. We look forward to your next visit. Because you know, Tommy thinks the next time he go, there's going to be Kong Island. Yeah. Should I just respond and just go, gift card, question mark? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, they'll go, this has to be his dad. <laughs> he put it out. Brendan hey, Tobin. They should, they should have been, wait, you know what? They should have given him something. Although, as eight years old, that seemed pretty professional. Well, yes, I would say, uh, you know, I had to gather all of his ideas together. He was he was going a mile a minute. Right. JFIX says it's true because it's not the greatest ride. The Co King Kong ride. How old is that ride? That is it the same? You know what? Here's here, here's it's what, not great. Dude. Here's what happens with these amusement parks. They should just rebrand all the rides. Now, there's a couple of rides that they haven't rebranded. Like Men in Black, let it go. <laughs> Right, <laughs> I'm gonna lie. I agree with that. That's, 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 that's and wait, that's, wait. Uh, let me tell you what is the most busted up ride in all of the parks, right? That twister ride. Come on, oh. come on. I think the thing he's not, really the thing he's really looking forward to is when they do Super Mario Land, which I think opens next summer. Mm, yeah. I think uh, when that movie was coming out that you had mentioned he's a big fan. So I know that's Twister. one going after him. Twister is a bum-ass ride. All you do is hold on to the rail and get spritzed with water. They took Twister out in 2015. That's how bad it was. Was it? Yeah, yeah it was very bad. very bad. Well, 
Good for Tommy. He's getting now, things I did, done. I, I tell you what. Now, as a grown ass man, I did do the Transformers ride twice. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've never been on the Transformers ride. Never, never been on a Transformers weird, ride weird. or the Harry Potter rides. Oh, oh, no, I did the Harry Potter. Fun. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. Dueling Dragons, yeah. No, I thought that was okay, Dueling so Dragons. There's, there's Dueling multiple Dragons was um was Hulk. No, 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 no way. No Hulk. Hulk. It Hulk. turned into one of the Harry Potter rides. The what's the guy that has a motorcycle next to him? That was the old Dueling Dragons thing. They turned it into a motorcycle ride. The other Harry Potter is like a digital. I'm spinning around and like you know. But you're sitting in the same spot. Yeah, you're kind of. For the most yeah, that's that, that. They do a lot of the rides like that now. Hagrid. Well, that's what. Uh, that's what the Dueling Dragons turn into, which is pretty cool. Motorcycle the, roller coaster. I'm in for that. Here's the crazy thing. So when we went, our whole family went. Everybody came from Texas, Louisiana. We all went. And I have a, a cousin. Right, who that most people think he's my brother because I hung out with his dad. His dad was only ten years older than me, so when I I was the oldest grandkid, he was the youngest child. So we hung out, and he comes in and we go to, to do the Hulk, right? Mm -hmm. And he sits in the seat, and I sit in the seat, and there's a sign, right? They go. Um, there's uh, alternate seating for bigger people in rows one to three. I don't know if it's alternate or some word they use, right, for the for the bigger people. So I pull my thing down, click, click. He pulls, he goes, uh -oh. uh, modified seating. That's what it is. Uh, uh, it won't go down, right? The ride scoots up a little bit. He goes, hey, 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 hey I need modified seating. He starts now. I have never laughed so hard in my life. The guy comes over and just pushes it down and he's fine. But we laughed so hard. But here's the thing that caught me off guard with the Hulk. Because, you know, old school, I'm used to the rides that go click, 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 click. Well, the Hulk goes five, four, three. I'm like, ah! You take, it's a propulsion ride. The Hulk is the Hulk is crazy. Oh. Love the Hulk. Oh, love the Hulk. Yeah. Love rock and roller coaster. That's really fast. No, uh, do you do you do that? You did that rock and roller coaster. But no, the thing that goes straight up vertical. That's what the rock rock and roller coaster is. It is. Yeah, it's that's like the, the only roller right. coaster in Universal. It Aren't goes you it's vertical. Tower, Tower of Terror. No, oh, no, no, no. Scary. The uh, rock and roller coaster. You get to pick your song. But when that thing goes up, it goes like vertical, straight I up. Know. I remember being in the dark, and I remember it being like the longest ride ever. Well, here's the other thing. I'm not getting on no ride that goes over the edge of the park. Like, they just, you know, because that ride, that ride goes outside of the park where the people are coming in. And I'm like, oh, oh hell no. I'll tell you what that happens uh, at Sea. Don't sleep on SeaWorld's roller coasters. SeaWorld's got some roller coasters. Go to SeaWorld, dude. I keep hearing about it. Yeah, now that they can't have whales anymore, they've really stepped up yeah. their roller coaster game. Although the Mako one is scary as hell. That one, they need a little bit more restraint. <laughs> yes. A little bit more restraint. Sometimes I used to think back in the uh, like the earlier days, going to like the the youth fair, and there were some rides. Remember that diamond that spun around and just kind of held you against the wall with gravity? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What oh, yeah. was that? It's called like Gravitron or something. Gravitron, yeah. Fall, you go, the and, then it would like, and then it would slide yeah. up. And then... Uh, yeah. But it's you only know, like Saturday, two feet. You know what we would call that? Hey, anybody want to go on the wedgie ride? Yeah, Because you know dude. when the floor falls out, you everybody get a wedgie. Right up the cheeks. Yeah. Uh, speaking of right up the cheeks... The heat. Shmita Schmoller says, maybe have Tommy write an email to the heat asking them to find some damn guts. Well, we'll take a break. We'll uh, we'll get into it. We don't really have time now. Uh, first, Leroy, can you just explain at uh, the Masters right now right. what is the situation? That brought to us by the Edwin Watts Golf Shops. Home of the 90-day, 100% satisfaction guarantee. Serving golfers around the country since 1968. So they have just started teeing off. Normally they tee off at 8. So usually at this time we got a nice little leaderboard. They teed off at 10 because of the bad, the inclement weather that came in last night. 
Um, so uh, they're going to tee off at 10. I, so probably one hole has been played on uh, one. I don't know if they're going to do one in 10. Uh, usually there's not, there's not, it's the smallest field in all the majors. So some people say it's the easiest major to win, believe it or not, because the field is so small. Uh, however, uh, I don't know if they're going to do one in 10 because they usually never do that. They always tee off on one because the field is so small. Uh, so we'll see. So there's one group. There's probably the second group is probably just teeing off. So it'll be a while before you actually get a decent leaderboard. Probably a couple hours in, there'll be probably twelve thirty. There'll be, you know, somebody the the first few groups will be on the back nine. But other than that, it'll probably be a little wet, which means scoring will be a little, be actually better than it usually is. But I heard the winds are howling, howling. Uh, I, I also heard today on. Uh... Get up, or maybe it was the Masters coverage. I don't remember. I think they, they bumped Get Up to ESPN two, but they said that this kind of implodes any shot Tiger Woods has because now he's going to have to play basically two rounds in one day tomorrow. Um, not necessarily. He's not going to be able to. He's not going to have be able to finish today. No, um, that's what they said. That's what they said. Two hours. You have until about seven. So if he tees off. If he tees off by two o'clock, he could get done. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it it is that making him play more than eighteen holes in a day. Yeah, yeah, not that, a big it, deal it, for really anybody else but him. Anybody else but him. Uh, but then to be honest with you, it depends on how he goes about it because I know guys that. We'll do a little a slot a little warm up, finish, go in, and then start that process over again for their next tea time. So I don't know, uh, but yeah, you you're probably right on that um play. That wasn't my take. It was what they it was uh due to the, the caddy dude. He was explaining it. Yeah, but but keep in mind they they because the field is so small. Right, they might be you all right. Still have a really good chance of getting it all in with only a two-hour delay. Uh, we'll take a quick break. We will get into the Miami Heat. They lose last night uh, against the Mavericks. I mean, really, just didn't have a prayer in that game at Oof. all. I, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into it. We'll take a we'll take a break. Back with more for this. <laughs>
Everybody just, everybody. All right, welcome back. Toby Leroy, take you up until two here on the program today. Hope everybody's doing fantastic out there. Better than the Heat, that's for sure. They lose last night 111 to 92 to the Dallas Mavericks. And I got to tell you, man, I want Luka Doncic. I mean, that guy's good. <laughs> Wow. It, it's weird because he's good. He can always get his shot off, dude. Right? He he just came out. I felt like he he was like, oh, second night of a back to back. He he came out just dropping bombs on the Miami Heat. He goes, watch these threes right in Bam's face from the sponsor logo. Enjoy it. And it was just like, oh no, that's how they're gonna go about this today. And man. He's good. Wow. Scares me, dude. Last year we had an anomaly. <laughs> is what I call Joker, essentially. There's not a lot of players that are like Joker, but unfortunately, because of his play style, he's not going anywhere for quite some time. And that's the same thing with Luka. If he doesn't leave Dallas, that will always be a problem you have to contend with, and it's like an unsolvable puzzle. Dude, nobody can defend him. It's like you really just have to like hope that he feels froggy from three and in the, and just like you, you could pray. But like then on top of it, he also has Kyrie who basically just took over the end of that first quarter, couldn't be stopped, and also was buoyed by the, by the fact that the Miami Heat decided it was free basketball night for the fans because they just kept throwing the basketball into the front row across from the Heat bench. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. It was like, dude, Watching the Miami Heat try and play offense against that Dallas Mavericks team, it it really is like you were watching two different sports. Why did they keep trying to force it to the front of the rim like soccer? I don't know. Or hockey, right? Just throw it in there. I don't know. But like Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler yesterday were so horrendous. And to have that mirror held up to you up against how Luka and Kyrie are playing. And yeah, Dallas is playing probably better basketball than anybody in the league right now. They've been awesome. I think they've won 16 out of 18. Yeah. But dude, I mean, it it really felt like you were playing at, at just two different sports. You had like one little, you know, the Heat did their, their favorite thing they like to do against good teams, which is the false hope run, which is like, let's cut it to eight to make it seem like we had a shot. But then, like, as soon as Jim, Jimmy and Bam came in, because that was all Kevin Love and Tyler Hero, once right. Ke once Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo came in, <laughs> over. No shot. It, and you want to know what makes it worse? I got to see this peacock and Mark Cuban walking around. I got to I had a really awkward, uh, like, you know, I don't like him. I mean, he's, he's yeah. the worst. <laughs> so, like, la the worst. So yesterday after the Jason Kidd's press conference, I was asking him about uh, Jovic, and he had some nice things to say about Jovic because he had this whole thing about like how Luca, he thinks like maybe there's like, like Luca's not getting enough MVP respect. Um, he's like, maybe there's like European fatigue. I don't know. So I asked him about, you know, our, our brate. But anyway, so I'm cutting up that thing and I'm just like head down to the computer and I just hear like it, the heat uh, meal room is not really a room. It's like a tent that they have with all the, and then I just hear, oh, good afternoon, Mr. Cuban. And I was like, Ugh. I could feel like right behind me with his unctuous little voice. Oh, thank you. Ugh. I was like, oh, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Shouldn't oh, you be okay. in a suite somewhere? What was he doing there? He just hobnobbing, dude. Just he just ate. <laughs> he, just, he just went down, sat at a table, and I guess had the, uh, I guess that's why he's rich. He just has the $10 heat catering instead of. Instead of uh, you know, whatever caviar they could probably have that a billionaire has, just sat there eating the heat food. I don't know. Does he not own the Mavericks anymore? Like, what? I thought he sold them. Kick him out. He, What's he, he still, doing there? He still is the the, the uh, CEO. I thought that he gave up controlling shares. Get him out of there. He's a he fan still, now. He still runs the team. The, nah, get out of here. You he don't does. not own something and run the team. Kick him out. Who are the new Mavericks? Did. Maybe, maybe he only sold forty nine percent. No, he didn't. He it's it, he sold. He he didn't. He sold a majority stake in it. He still runs the team. Nah, get him out of there. I'm he sick does. Of sick of him. Sick of the Heat. 
sick of I, not scoring. Like, I have this question, and and I, I'll ask it again. Sure. You can win, like, I think the last team to do it was maybe um, Detroit with with uh, with those guys recently. Not recently, but the last championship they won. Talking about with, 20 years ago, dude? Yeah. Chauncey that's the, la- the Hall of Fame. But wait. But ben Wallace is in the Hall of Fame. But that's the last team that I could think of that won a championship without – Two guys scoring fifty points. I don't know what like the number is, but I get your point. I I understand what your point is. And and so, and and so, going into every Heat game, if you don't have like fifty points in your back pocket, it becomes difficult when you play a team like Luke and Kyrie. That you know they're going to give you fifty plus. So you're saying you think it's difficult if your two best max players combine for 20 points, you're going to have a tough time? Against any other team whose two best players average 50? Yes, yes any other team against the Hurricanes! Right, but but that's but that's what I'm saying. That is what... You want a has... sobering stat? Sure. It's from Anthony Chang, Miami Herald. 18th game this season, the Heat finished with fewer than 100 points. Only the Hornets, Trailblazers, and Grizzlies have scored fewer than 100 points in more games this season than the Heat. Woo! Can't win like that. Oof. You think? Can't win like that. You and the thing is with Spo, he's like, ah, like he, he really is like, I, I, I love competition. I love competition. We got to, you know, will this thing together. And I really think that he's just going to go out there and like they're gonna win with like telepathy, with willing this thing. And I'm like, you need buckets, dude. What are we doing? And Jimmy buckets. Can't see the jumper to save his life right now. And bam, out of bio yesterday. I mean, honestly, the backboard could charge him with assault. <laughs> yeah, Bam and, says he's been cold for sure. Dude, he was missing. I I never seen a guy miss more four foot floaters. Like yeah. he needs a he needs a Tyler Hero clinic on the floater, or he needs to stop shooting the floater. <laughs> it was brutal yesterday. Maybe dude. that's not your shot. By the way, this this quote this is not going to help him out. You you want to hear what he said after the game? Not really, because they yeah. all say, they all say this thing that like, are you watching the same basketball I'm watching? Because I don't get that feeling. This was Bam on uh, what they need to do to put this behind them. Over the next 46 or 44 hours to collect everybody in here, collect them. So. Uh, go out, get some South Beach sun, um, get your mind off it and recuperate. Wrong! What? South Beach sun? God. <laughs> Dude, think it. Don't say it. Think it. Don't say it. What are we that's, doing? That's helped you. <laughs> Isn't it amazing that? Wait, hold on, Marcos. Marcos, yeah. what was the thing? Wait, is he the messenger? Dude, my <laughs> man, to be saying, think it, don't say it. Don't say. I just, like, I know no! I'm not. I know I'm not. I wish, like, if I was, if I could have froze time after Dave Hyde asked that question, I would be like, there's just one thing you can't say, Bam. Don't say that I need the sun. Don't say that I need the beach. Don't say that I need the sun or the beach. No! <laughs> you can't, what? you need the sun after three for 13? You weren't blinded enough by Luca buckets? Boy, Luca just like, he loves when Bam's on him. He's just like, watch this, dude. You're so far away from the rim. Watch how far I can shoot it from. <laughs> Wee, oh. And then Jimmy, after that done, he's like, nah, I'm not going to speak to the media. Probably the better plan. Maybe I should have taken a lesson. Oh, my God. Ever since that new uh, way of officiating, though, I do feel like a lot of that has kind of bled into Jimmy's game. I know, you know, he's just not making shots as well, but I feel like he's also not getting calls. 
Oh, is he not getting calls, or does he keep passing it to the fans? <laughs> okay, that, okay, if that happens like, a lot. Because I, I've heard this theory. Do you want to know? Like, Jimmy Butler's, at, uh, before last night, was, like, averaging nine free throws over his last five games. Got mm. to the free throw double-digit times in the last couple games. He can't shoot a lick, and he keeps turning the ball over. What does that have to do with officiating? I would love to know. I'd love to know. Even his decision-making is weird. You know what? I got to say something, Tobin. Hmm? You kind of sound like me. I mean, look. No, no, no. What can I do? Hey, Marco. (laughs) Marco. I'm supposed to say this? Wait. Does he not sound like that's something I would say? No, but but like here's the thing. You would say. Oh, dude, he's not getting the calls. Yeah, come on, the officiating. Come there were on. games. That, no, no, there were games. There was very clearly at the end of a of a, a Pacers game, the Heat didn't get calls. But this idea, Jimmy Butler's not getting calls. Like, no, dude, he can't hit jump shots. I don't know what to tell you. You, you, he throws up a jumper that's not a wide open three that he like has to be forced to shoot at the end of a shot clock, and it's like Can praying and hoping it goes in. What? frustrated me last night more than anything okay here's what pisses me off about the heat offense they throw it around the perimeter for 20 seconds (laughs) and then go inside with one second left and somebody has to chuck up a shot right like you see they just look and and jimmy when he gets the ball and he's the facilitator he takes forever do you like the they one don't get you... into offense until 12 seconds left. I like when and Jimmy. Like, oh, here he goes. Somebody gonna chuck up a ridiculous shot. I love when Jimmy and Bam both think about posting up for like 14 seconds, and then they and just chuck and then and then they kick it out. Oh, gotta shoot a 40 foot three point. Yeah, it's always it's always to Kayla Martin who has to do a jackknife while he shoots the ball. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. Can you got like what is happening there's no, here? There's no ball movement. Oh there's, my god! And, and when there is ball movement, it's thirty feet from the 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 goal from the rim. Kevin Love so, needs to like just give these guys lessons of like, hey guys, you two come here. Let, let me just show you because he gets in there for fifteen minutes and he has basketball figured out so much easier than those guys do at offense. Like he just gets in there, and goes, oh, six foot four guy on me. Whoop, in the bucket. Oh, this uh, the mismatch here. I'm gonna go out and shoot the ball. Like, can Kevin Love give them a clinic? Can can, can, can he be guest speaker at Tony Fiorentino's junior heat camp? The, but he the, gives just lessons to Bam and Jimmy on this. You know what the problem is? But he can only give you 15 minutes. Oh yeah, but it's the best. Oh, wish minutes. he could play 30. But if you go over that 15, 20 minute bear, oh, you get. I tell you what, man, that that guy, that guy's all energy. Cause like when they're stinking up the joint and he's not in, he's like clapping in the face, like, let's go, dude. What are you doing? Then he's like, let me, he's like, oh, it's my eight minute stretch here. Watch this, everybody. Right. It's, it's amazing. Like, dude, I'm telling you what, I almost broke my TV watching them throw the ball around the perimeter. With until there was like five seconds left, and then somebody take a three that looked so ridiculous. I'm like, they're not even, they're not even forcing Dallas to play defense. Whoa! They just go around the perimeter like this. They don't have to do nothing. What you owe us for, dude? You look like you got some breaking news or something. Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh no! Well, we are. Oh no! OJ Simpson died. Whoa. No. Yeah. Really? TMZ reports OJ Simpson dead at seventy six. His uh, oh, Twitter no. account. Um, OJ Simpson's Twitter account on April tenth. Our father, Ornithal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer, surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family. Ask that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. Signed, the Simpson family. Wow, mm. crazy Whoa. dude. First all right, all, I can honestly say, I did not know he was that old. Seventy six. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 
All right. How about that? OJ Simpson passes away at 76 years old. We'll obviously uh, get into more of that and plenty more along the way. Back after this. This hour of Tobin.
All right, welcome back, everybody. It's Tobin and Leroy here with you. We're streaming live, YouTube and Twitch. You guys can watch us there live up until 2 p.m. You guys can get us on demand there as well. Frog Boy's back today. Yep. It's good to, it's good to have uh, Marcos back in the fold. Dan Day, we appreciate him uh, filling in for the last few days. And, uh, you know, lots to get to here on today's program. We'll play uh, Goosey's No Goosey's. I know JFig's been very mad. I've neglected it the last couple of Thursdays. So we will get back to playing a little uh, GNG coming on up and uh, f- <laughs> figure that. <laughs> Dude, you're an idiot. Like, you are an idiot. <laughs> GNG. <laughs> uh if you guys are just tuning in we've been talking about the heat uh just oof, terrible um oof. eric spolstra here was uh him yesterday after the game spo on the uh miami well, heat like almost like you what do you mean this is how you used to talk about the heat now you finally just i can't do it i, I can do it it's just like i, I mean nobody will believe you like like look here, to let's put this in context. You're telling me that a 35 year old basketball player is going to crank it up after 60 plus games and be able to do all the things you've seen him do for the last 10 to 12 years. Can't at it some out. point, at some point, it's going to come to a crashing halt. It always does. I do. I was talking to somebody about this last night with Jimmy because it's interesting the parallels between him and D Wade, right? Because it's like you think of D Wade at the end of his career with the Heat being like, you know, 40 years old. And, you know, with D Wade's bef- before he ended up, you know, going to the Bulls and, uh, and that whole thing goes down, like purple shirt guy and the whole thing, like D Wade was sitting here and he was a little older than Jimmy. But you you think about this with him and and that season, it's like, you know, you could dial it up. There were definitely those games where there was game six and he saved the Heat's ass and there were games against the Raptors, but it just wasn't quite what it was, you know? Right. Yeah. It just and, wasn't and it, quite what it was. And so, yeah, there is a level of worry that is Jimmy hitting that that point of his career? There's got to be, there, here, there, especially with how, hard, with how hard he plays. Here's here's what happens, okay? And I'll tell you this from firsthand experience. A boo-boo lasts longer. A tweak lasts longer, okay? When you think, oh, the adrenaline is oh, get me right for the game, it doesn't. And so now with Jimmy, your jump shot looks crazy. You don't go to the rim as much. You're trying to shoot threes, right? And and that's fine, but that's not enough. Yeah, and the other thing is, like, even if you want to say, hey, Jimmy keeps himself in better shape than D-Wade did, All right, maybe I'd agree with that, that Jimmy is a more proficient worker. Jimmy has is such a fascinating player because he – built himself into this to be anything kind of this 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 wrecking ball of offense he was not a polished offensive player d wade is one of the best guards of all time this guy was polished for okay maybe you want to say oh he wasn't a great three-point this dude's moves in the paint the the master of the pump fake this dude is still falling for it right now right now somebody falling for a d wade pump fake this dude is an offensive artist. So, yeah, it's kind of wild to think, like, we're going and we're expecting Jimmy Butler. No, you were. No, you were. Uh, look. You were. I still am. I still am. I just – but I just want to get everybody, like, in perspective on this. Like, to 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 think, like, Jimmy's got, like, this long prime left. This was D. Wade going to the Bulls that the, that the Heat wouldn't pay. Like, the end at the end. We're, like – you're losing to the Toronto Raptors in a seven game series in the second round. It's, it has to be, it has to be noticed. It has to be, it just has to be on alert with this, that possibly these runs and this magic. And it's been great. I don't like when people are sitting here talking about Jimmy Butler, like he's 
failed or that he doesn't care. It's just possible that stuff is catching up to him this year. It's possible. It's, it's possible. It's sports. Uh, That's what happens. That's what happens. Like you watch yesterday and you see Luca and Kyrie and how they're getting buckets. And you watch the Heat's two stars, who I love, their competitiveness, their 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 tenacity. They, you know, them as a collective has have had great success, success, sex and success, probably. Um, but Kyrie and Luca, like they didn't make the playoffs last year, but Man, like the way they are able to just just create offense just out of nowhere. And how old is Kyrie? Kyrie's got to be 32, 33? 32. They might be the same age, actually. I don't know. Kyrie Irving. Uh, he is just – he just turned 32 a couple weeks ago. Okay. So, like, yeah, like th- this is like – and 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 this is not a knock on Jimmy. This is just the reality of sports. And and I I see it all the time. Mm-hmm. Right? And and you just have to like to expect 35-year-old Jimmy to lead your team is being a little ridiculous. Uh Diggy Soul says nothing is catching up with Jimmy. He wants to get paid, and that's why he switched up. Well, let me tell you something, dude. If that's his plan, like if he is coasting because he wants to get paid, Pat Riley's the wrong mother bleeper to do that with. That <laughs> dude does not care. He don't care. I don't care how old he is. You know, if there's this, if there are these dreams of his uh, representation getting a four year, two hundred fifty million dollar max till he's thirty eight years old from Pat Riley, if you're playing like this and you get and, and you uh, can't get out of the first round, hell, even the second round, good luck taking that to the negotiating table with Pat Riley. That dude, he is all, every one of those Heat lifers that come back here, beloved, other than Udonis Haslam, who basically took the uh, who took who took the uh, the long game on this. Every single one of them, when they wanted to get that contract at the end, he said, "See you, dude." So if that is the plan, it's a terrible plan. Yeah. Like, with that being said, though, he has paid hard work. So it's not like he's like cheap with the money. But yeah, this I don't see Jimmy doing this. And even if he is doing this, like you said, I don't think Jimmy's point. doing it I for the truth. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair to Jimmy. I don't think he's I don't think Jimmy is playing games to try to get paid. No. I think he is. He really believes all of the stuff that he was telling you in January. However, father time is undefeated. Okay. And look at some of the teams they're playing with some of the youth that they have. And you realize that some of the best competition that the heat put on the floor. Okay. Involves most of your young guys that play with a ton of energy. And that's when the team seems to be more competitive. Now, that's that's a fact. Yeah, I don't okay? think he's I don't think he's no, doing I'm anything not, by, not, I won't, by I will I think, never I will never say that about Jim. Me neither. Ever. Me neither. Ever. Me neither. I, I don't think that's the case. Is it but but is it possible that he physically is not going to be able to do it this year? He's yeah, reached in, he reached into the cookie jar. And I'll be damned. No more cookies. D. Matthew says, oh, and once it's his nuclear quote. Yeah, that was, was this airing last night on the game? I didn't see this, this quote about I go nuclear in the playoffs. Did that happen? Marcos, you sent that to us. I saw, yeah, I saw that yesterday on a graphic made by uh, Clutch Points, but. I think it was from his Hulu. I think it was from his Hulu commercial. I would say this. I would say this. Um. That's the wrong quote. It should what? say play in. <laughs> one of the planes. Yeah. One of the planes I, they stunk in. But to be look, the thing that is is still crazy about it is yeah, they can still avoid the play in, but even if they're in the play in, like if they end up in a 7-8 with the magic, yeah, you're going to pick the heat. You're going to be like, "All right." And then as long like the the real the realness of it is 
as long as they don't end up against the Celtics in the first round, everyone's going to have that confidence that they're going to dial it back up, especially the East. The East is not very good. The West, well, that would be a different story. I think I saw Ethan tweet out, Ethan Skolnick, not Schmieth and Schmolnick, that the Heat finished the season 0-10 against the top five in the West. Oof. That's not good, too. That is uh, giving Oof. me real Miami Dolphins vibes. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, uh, yeah, like they can't beat the real teams? There's been yeah, like, we there's only beat the Cowboys. Cowboys. And the, what, they beat, like, maybe one of these top teams all mm-hmm. year? I don't remember really much victories. Here was, this is uh, not a good recipe going into the playoffs. We're not good at home. We're not good against, you know. That's the weirdest. Teams. Dude, you know what's crazy? One thing that's about this, Marcos? Man, I don't remember the exact thing that Eric Reed said, but I think it's their second most wins ever on the road this year. But they I suck do remember at home. Place. They yeah. suck at home, dude. What is <laughs> terrible? That? Terrible. Yeah. Honestly, and what, what scares me is that, that goes back to last playoffs. Remember yeah. against Boston, it was kind of like, you know, we, we almost didn't want to be home just because we were doing so. Jimmy Butler made the garden his home. But yeah, he does love the TD garden. He really does. Uh, here's Eric Spolstra. He doesn't care about the standings. Group. Wow, we great. have uh, a very competitive locker room. Our guys want, we all want the same thing. Um, and sometimes, it. you know, this league it, it can just really humble you. Um, and that's what, what happened tonight. So we're going to regroup. Um, we've had to do that several times this year, and we keep on finding a way to bounce back. And um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on, on the next 48 hours uh, to get ready for another battle. I don't even care what's going on in the standings. I just want, you know, our team uh, playing the way we're capable of playing. And, and that's what we're going to look to do in these last two games. I mean, if he wants to know what's going on in the standings, <laughs> Who do you think is? Do you think it's like Todd, the intern in the media relations department? They're like, Coach, Coach, I got the standings here for you. <laughs> Punches him right in the face. Smacks the papers. Do you, think Chris Quinn, do you think Chris Quinn comes in and goes, uh, hey, What do you got, Chris? He goes, ah, Standings. Don't you do it. He goes, But, Coach, we, we, he's like, I don't, as far as I'm concerned, let me explain something. We're to you. in first place. <laughs> let, me expl- let me explain something to you. We have enough. There ain't nobody in that building that doesn't know where they stand. Okay, nobody. No, there's right, none. and 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 so, like, my thing is this: before all of these pivotal and crucial and critical games, we've heard the same thing, right? And have gone sideways every time. Yeah. Okay, you only got two games left. At some point, it is what it is. Fully prepared for Kelly Olynyk to hit seven threes against us. He's a rapper now, by the way. Here's what I here's, here's what I hate about the assumptions that people make, right? Because in a one game sample size, we all know that a team can get hot, and your ass could be at home, right? And it don't matter who it is in the NBA. Mm-hmm. You lost to Washington, okay? So. The whole idea of not being in that situation because last year was an anomaly in sports, not just basketball, in sports. When you were five minutes away from being in Cancun and yeah, made and it the all the other, way to the finals. And you're not going to take on a bad team in the first playing game. You're going to take on probably Philly or Orlando. Right. You know? Like, it's not so, like you're going to take on – it's not like you, you'll – you'll if you lose, you'll end up having to, to play your Boston ticket against – uh, Atlanta or Chicago, you know, because that's where they live. Those guys live at the bottom of the play-in. But, um, yeah, it's, it, it, you know, Spo can not look at the standings all they want, but I think we all know we what know, it is. We right know. Now. Listen, you don't have to look, but we know. Take um, a break. Yeah. Um, get to your headlines. Get your uh, updates. And uh, more to come after this.
It's time for our Tua. It's our Tua. It's our Tua. It's our Tua. Tua, Tua, Tua. Tongue of Iloa. Not to a tag of Leoa. A for effort. Dolphins quarterback. Tua. It's our Tua. It's our Tua. Tua. Tua, Tua, Tua. Tua, Tua, Tua. Can go to hell. To a tongue of Iloa. Dolphins quarterback. Daddy loves you guys. Our Tua with Tobin and Leroy. Check the history of food. Our Tua the program, ladies and gentlemen. I believe tonight is the uh, Tua Luau. Hmm. Means we'll uh, get some more words from Tua on what he's got to say. If he's got a thing or two to say about a thing or two. I'm sure you guys uh, talked about it, but... Uh... Looking pretty slim. Looking pretty yeah, slim. He is looking pretty slim, huh? Looking you know what that means, slim. Marcos? I heard he's been working on his mobility. Mobile, dude. <laughs> That's what I've been hearing. <laughs> I'm telling you. Woo, and then he has a second Marcos, sleeve. You want, Marcos, dude, you want, it's, just, it's just the gradual evolution of a professional you, you, athlete. You, you want to know what made me more excited, though, Marcos? Yeah. You no, know, we're sitting here. We're talking like... Oh, what are the Dolphins going to do? Let's get a lineman. Let's get a defensive lineman. Mm-hmm. You see what happened yesterday on social media? Mm, uh, was it's it familiar- a little- Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Tell us. a little uh, 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 speed demon on our radar. A speed demon, dude. Leroy. <laughs> you see yesterday on social media who posted a little photo of Mike McDaniel, none other than fastest man ever in draft combine history but texas wide receiver xavier worthy posted on his instagram Mm -hmm. (laughs) what does he mean by that he's going wow little wow this is what I'm saying. You know, this is why I like Mike McDaniel. You know, my apple and shut up. Instead of doing the responsible thing, if I, because this guy is a head coach, he looks like he's enjoyed being the head coach. You know, goes courtside seats. He's hobnobbing, dresses well, dresses to the nines. It's his first ever first round pick. Let's have a little fun, baby. Why? Why just have two of the fastest wide receivers in the league? When you could have three. Very interesting. I'm intrigued, dude. I'm intrigued. I am, I, I, hey, my fancy is tickled. Responsibility That's, is for suckers. We'll take care of that. My later fancy rounds. is tickled. Wow. 4.21. 4.21. Wow. I don't think I can make it to the door within the studio I'm in Ooh. right now at 4.2. A laser, you know what? What you know? Who needs a mauler when you could just go out there and you could just say, "Hey, try catching all of us now, huh?" Come on now, dude. <sighs> Who needs a mauler when you got a mauler? What's he? What was he? Six one one seventy. Yes, exactly six one one two. Oh, you've you've been doing your research. <laughs> wow, so, so fast. Let me let me let me get fast. this straight. Let me so let me get this straight. Pew. Let me get pew, this straight. Pew, pew, pew. Six one, 170 pounds. Yeah. For any of the three of us to get to 170 pounds, we would have to cut off both arms and legs. I haven't been 170 pounds since I hit double digit age. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. I think I'm. I think I was, let me let me guess, uh ninth grade. Wow. What was his combine weigh in though, Marcus? Was he a little heavier at the combine? Do we know? 
Let's see. Let's check his combine, bro. I, they have him listed at one seventy two. Ooh. Who knows what is what is? Oh my god, his combine profile though. That on Google they had him at one seventy two. On NFL dot com, one sixty five. One sixty five. Dude, it's even faster. Hey. He's supposed to be fast at one hundred sixty five pounds. I mean, he he's the fastest. Good. You yeah. can't get faster than him. We look, you you no, you no, have no, to no, rep- no, no, no. Leroy, you no, have to replace no, I'm not doing this. We had these concerns. I'm not with doing our- this. Hold on. We had these you concerns know, with this is not this is not the fight game. This is not UFC or boxing where the guy across from you is gonna be the same weight. I understand. I understand. And there's of course that viral video of this uh of uh of um what was it, Legarius Sneed just completely, I mean, jamming Tyree Kill to hell. Nasty. I mean, that so was not that was 165 is gonna look like getting jammed. Oh, I mean, get right, right. everyone, dude. Let's be gotta clear. Ca- gotta Tyreke, catch him first. Tyreek Hill is almost 20 pounds heavier than him. Wow. Okay, say that out loud. Tyreek Hill. But what about Slim Reaper? Remember, we had these concerns about Slim Reaper. Oh, he had a nice career. Just, Wait, just look him up right now. He was 185. Nah, come on. I don't know. No way. He's Slim Reaper. Six foot, 170. What was his combine measurements, though? Hmm. Oh, they might not. He might not have gotten the combine because he might have been. Let's see. That shit. Wasn't he injured or something like that? No, it wasn't. No, I I don't remember. Six foot, 170. Yeah. Samesies. Same thing, dude. Six, one, 170. No, just six foot. Look at that. One inch short, you know. What, what is that? You know, and by the way, not the fastest. Now he did with the Heisman. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what has he done for me lately? Wait, he won the Heisman, and his running mate went before him. Crazy. He was better. He was better. You know, his better. his his running mate was hurt. You bolstered his, right. his statistics. Absolutely. Boy, Come on, I tell you what. Can we you know the some, kickoff is different you know now. What, you know what's crazy? I know there's certain topics yeah. that we would discuss that those baby blues are going to just start gleaming and glowing. And it's just like... just It's I'm, not the responsible thing I'm, to do, but it's I'm the exhausted. fun thing to do. I'm exhausted. Did, because you also be the first person to talk about the offensive line sucking. Well, look. No, no, no. See, that's that's I said, not, but what no, I told. But hold on, hold on. No. Look, we could do the response. We could go take you know Powers Johnson. We can go take. I'm, a, not even, I'm not even saying they should draft the offensive lineman. I'm just saying, don't draft a position you don't need. It's definitely not the most responsible thing to do. But right. you, there's a lot. Wait. Okay. Even from your perspective. Yeah, there's a lot of needs that need to be filled. If you go draft somebody at a position you already have, that that's the beginning of of just complaints during the season. You know it. Oh. He's so fast, Leroy. He's so fast, and he loves it. He seems like he's hit it off with Mike McDaniel. Didn't he call him a weirdo? Yeah, and that's always a sign of affection. Everyone else calls him weirdo too. Yeah, let's give Mike McDaniel some toys. I mean, I'm not against. Dade South says you can get him in the second. What if we get him in the second? Will you be happy? Uh, you still feel like we should go here? And and I'm, I'm still, I'm still of the belief that. The draft is always very fluid. And so you have to kind of play the draft. So, I, like, what players are going to be available versus who you pick is going to matter to me more than anything. You, you see what I'm saying? It's easy to say I want to go get an offensive lineman, but if you get to the 21st pick, and you don't have a grade that's that high for offensive lineman, you don't take them. You ever feel like it's the responsible thing to buy a jet ski? No, but it's fun. You, 
Sometimes, sometimes you need the Jets. You would manipulate the whole situation to make it seem like you need the jet ski. Last time I was on a jet ski, I actually went overboard. Happens a lot, dude. You, you know, can't go uh, over. Uh, hold on, uh, hold on. Yeah, hold on, Marcos. Yeah, sharp turn. Will you please tell the jackass? <laughs> I've I've gone overboard multiple times. Though, you so don't I'm go not. overboard on it. Oh, you do. It's not. What do you do? What do you What do you call it? It's a mini boat. <laughs> just a getting bucked. Spot. It's a wait. Did you just call it a mini boat? Yeah, it's a one person boat. Oh my god. Game Boy says it's responsible to buy a soccer van, but we're going for a Lamborghini. Oh, got twins on the way. Get in the Lambo. <laughs> Pack them up. Yeah, exactly. One in the front seat. Would you? Would you agree though? Like after they're at the pro day, because uh, I think they were even there. I don't even think they were there to see him at the pro day. I think they were there to see the tight end, but. Would you agree that like Mike McDaniel's got to have at least a fifteen minute like badgering session of Chris Greer to be like, "Come on, baby, Come no," on, baby. and he's no. like, he's "No, like, Mike, no, what are you doing?" You Good. know what? If if in in Mike's dream world, mm-hmm. right? If he could get any player, he would want that tight end from uh, Georgia Bowers. That would make it. The, he would not give a rat's ass who else got drafted. Yeah, they're not going to get him, though. I know they're not. But I'm just saying, that's his dream draft. Like, I, I personally, listen, I think, here's Mike in the draft. All right, the 21st pick. All right, here's who we got right. Damn. Well, what's uh, wrong, Mike? Like, The two best options are offense and defensive line. Mm-hmm. Now I know, I know Socrates would do the right thing, and he, like, but is there any other way? Can like no? Wouldn't it be something that like Mike McDaniel? What if he did like a switcheroo in the in the war room? Like, hey, don't worry about it, uh, Chris. So like, Chris Greer leaves at like pick four. He goes, ah, I got time. And so, like, then they locks him out of the war no. room, and he makes the call. No, the coach doesn't send a pick in. Why not? Because he doesn't. No, he I'm saying, but like, no, no, I know, he, but like he, he won't, no. but like, it went in, you're, you're making up stuff. Chris Greer's got to go to the vending if, machine. If, if Chris Greer, <laughs> wait, 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 if Chris <laughs> Greer leaves the draft room <laughs> that yeah. close to his pick, oh, we're gonna Snickers guys up here. <laughs> hey, if he leaves the draft room that close to his pick. Just keep going. Just grab if, your Snickers and keep going. No we'll take, we'll, we'll take a break. That silly sauce headline brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Supercenter. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We need no trucks. <laughs> I'll put you in a better mood. Christian Wilkins spoke. I like him. You miss him? I don't. I miss him. I don't like him in black. Right? Take a and break. Doing the splits for other teams. Yeah. Right. I like my guy agitating. Take right? a break. Back after this. Um.
Gotta get with it to get lost, you understand? Yeah. Oh, uh, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Tobin Leroy here with you, 560 WQAM. Streaming live on the Odyssey app, A U D A C Y. Download it today. And you can listen to all of us. You can listen to us on demand, on your podcast, on your radio rewind feature. And you guys can come watch the show, Miami 560 WQAM. Everybody who is there in the chat, appreciate you guys. Uh, if you're just tuning in, uh, in the first hour, we learned today uh, O.J. Simpson passes away at the age of 76, uh, has a battle with cancer. And, um, man, Lira, you uh, you you knew O.J. pretty well, yeah? Like, you you golfed yeah. several times with O.J. Yeah. Uh, after, obviously, of, you know, of course, the uh, crazy uh, craziness yeah, that was before, the murder trial and all that stuff. But he, he lived down here for a while. Yeah, he lived down here for a while. And, uh, you know, and, like, what do you do? Like, I, I never knew how to really handle that whole situation, right? Yeah. Like, you know, beforehand, you ain't thinking, oh, that guy could possibly kill somebody or, you know, whatever. You don't, you don't think of people you hang out with like that. And then something like that happens and you think, oh, does that mean that, how I felt about this person, you know what I mean? It, it was a weird, it was a weird dynamic. It was right? a strange dynamic, like this last part of his life, because yeah. you know he had the whole thing with the memorabilia case where he actually, you know, went to jail for that, and then you know he gets out and then kind of finds this newfound fame again through social media, you know, because the OJ show that was terrible on FX. <laughs> You had Schwimmer playing the Kardashian. Yeah. Juice. Oh. Juice. Right. Uh, you had the the, uh, the 30 for 30, which obviously documented everything in his life from, you know, his fame to his talents to the murder trial to the craziness that was his South Florida life. I remember uh, where I, I remember like even playing because it was while we were, you know, while I was playing football. Like we stopped what the hell we were doing. Right. <laughs> You know, like it, it's just I, I I never actually knew how to you know deal with it. Not not and not deal with it from the standpoint of you know you have you have somebody who you associate with with who you've hung out with who you golf with or whatever, and then this happens. Does that mean that? You you no longer like I I never knew how to do that because I was one of those people if if I called you my friend you're my friend and you could do some dumb stuff and get in trouble but what could anybody do to, like I I didn't know how to I just kind of do you think that was crazy like there was like all the uh, you know I was very young when the trial was going on like I right. was what was the trial ninety four. 94, 95, uh, 96? I, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, well, I'm bad at math. I, bro I just My brain just broke. Anyway, <laughs> I was like eight, 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 nine when this trial is going on. But um, yeah, everybody says that that was a crazy experience because like the world stopped. The NBA yeah. finals when that the was like, the Bronco stopped. chase was going on. Right. Nuts, dude. It was crazy. It was crazy. The whole, you know, the whole like how that trial played out was crazy, right? And it was every day on TV and every day, like, yeah. So, you know, yeah. He he became he was already polarizing because he was probably one of it was Jim Brown who did movies and it was OJ. Mm -hmm. Right. And and so and he was on, I think he was on Monday Night Football. Monday Night Football, yeah. No, he was, I right. mean, the, the Hertz like, spokesperson. I think that's probably right. why it was so shocking, right? Like, this guy was a kind of a darling of, of America. Right. right. But but it's like, what they say? Players F up too. You know, <laughs> like, I don't, I, I don't know. Like, you know, you you can't, um, you, they, like, people, people do some crazy stuff, man. And, and I, so I just, I just kind of, you know, shrugged my shoulders and kept it moving. Hey, it's like, the world. I, I like if if you know somebody 
and people ask you, oh, what do you think? Did you you think he did it? And I'm like, I think we all think he did it. <laughs> I, like, I, think, I don't think there's many people who don't think he did it. I think the thing that's crazy about it is he got away with it. Uh, and then uh, there was just, there was, there was always like, you know, the book that came out, if I did it. And then that got stopped. Like some of the, some of the, uh, it was, it was like in the aftermath of, you know, the, the killing of his wife and, and the, uh, um, and the other, and the other individual, like, and they had, you know, the civil suit that they basically made it. So OJ couldn't make any money other than what his pension. Right. Pretty wild, man. I think he says man just categorized more murdering two people as players mess up too. That's not what I was doing. That's why remember I said that's why I just shrugged my shoulders and kept it moving for that reason right there. Like yeah, it, it, if you guys are considered like when when Leroy played golf with OJ, he didn't ask him after every hole, hey, come on, man, you can tell me. You can tell me, dude. Come on, you can like, tell I don't, me. I don't dude. like I don't I don't know. It's just I us. I don't know. I like again. I say to you guys, I myself didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know what to do. Here's a guy I hung out with, ate food with, golfed with on a number of occasions, right? And then this comes up. I don't know how to, like, do Do I, you know, do what you guys are doing, right? Or do I just defend him to the end? I had no idea what to do. Yeah, it's an Again, awkward thing. How it's do you an like awkward thing. It's an awkward thing when you're friends of some with somebody who is was super famous and then super infamous, right? Like you're talking, I, like, and you're talking you about. Probably... And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing that I can, I can be that a lot of you morons can't can't be. I can be honest about that situation and how it played out to me, mm -hmm. right? And and so I tried to do that. I tried to explain it, and. There's always going to be a jackass, and naturally, man just categorized more than two people as players mess up too. That's it. That's all he got from what I was trying to. Still awkward to me. Yes. Still very awkward. Of course, right? And so, like, I'm not trying to put yeah. you in an awkward position. No, I, just I know, find it but I'm just saying. I'm just, like, I'm explaining it as I was experiencing. You experienced it different because you did not know OJ. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, this is somebody I golfed with, ate with, party with, whatever. It it, it takes a different, uh, it has a different, you know, it hits me differently than it hits you. I don't I don't know how to uh actually, I guess you don't ever learn how to deal with something like that. How could you deal with something no, like that? I, like, like I, I, Again. And especially if you have a relationship with a guy, a decent relationship where you guys enjoyed time together, like it's not like the OJ Simpson is spending his entire existence uh, not knowing how to live like that. Very clearly, there's an element of OJ that seemed to like being the center of attention. That's right. why he was on social media. Like he was a very captivating guy. Why do you think that everybody is, you know, there? there's a lot of, people who have murdered people or allegedly murdered people but this guy was one of the the biggest football stars on the planet then one of the biggest media stars movie stars on the planet right and really really seemed to like fame really right. liked it really liked being liked and it's got to be such a yeah it, it had to be a strange thing because yeah, you probably were in moments where he was getting what he liked. Like, okay, uh, let me uh, let me add. A, like, can I can I add another twist to this? Yeah, is that not only that, but you get to hang out with a guy who you idolized growing up. That's crazy too. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I told you, I, I'm I was never really starstruck, and I wasn't starstruck by him because he. He wasn't like that, right? And the only person that I've ever like been speechless with is Gail Sayers. That's it. Everybody else I can hang out with and just be me and whatever, right? So just imagine growing up and remember seeing him as a kid be the first person to run for 2,000 yards in 14 games. 14 games. Right? And so now you're, you're – and then the movies and the Hertz commercials and then – and now he's 
calling you and asking you if you want to golf. Right? So it, it it's not just you guys are looking at it from a different perspective than I am. Yeah. And 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 although I may come to the same result that you did, it it's a little bit different. And it's harder for me to get there because of everything else. And we all have people in our lives that screw up and do things and and you you get confused about how do I handle this now? I right? get it, dude. Like that's that I, I don't even know how you could wrestle. Like I like, don't. I I, I went it, back and forth. I, I went I I went back and forth with it all the time. I think the thing I all really just want to know is like, it's crazy. I just really want to know is did you kick his ass in golf or did he beat you? Like, yeah, like oh, was, I would have to... offer? that's something yeah, he had yeah. to he and yeah. and an interesting point, like yeah. he could barely walk until hmm. he got his knees done. He didn't get his knees done till after the trial. And so that's also the other aspect of it that you you're with this guy and you see him laboring. And so you just my perspective is so much different than people just turning on the TV and watching OJ and thinking, here's an athlete or here's a famous person that's going to get off. My perspective was totally different to the point where I was so confused with how to handle it. I just shut the hell up. I never yeah. said anything about it ever. And that's Leroy. And that's me. That's Leroy. Who has a he pretty does. much an opinion about everything. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll take a uh we're gonna take a pause and then we will mix things on up. The return of Marcos's mix, although Dan did pretty good mixed bags, dude. I mean, you gotta step your I game heard. Right? Yeah, you gotta yeah, remember, yeah. you gotta remember why people say, like, hey, this is my mixed bag. You gotta oh, take okay. back the bag. You know what? I'm taking back the bag. bag Next. Bag.
Ah, welcome back, everybody. Tobin and Leroy here with you. 560 WQAM. Man, Twitter is brutal. Dude, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's it's a day. It's a day. It's none, it's, it's none nice. It is a it is a day. If you uh, are in for the uh, the OJ Simpson death jokes, they are they are a plenty on Twitter today. By the way, hey, I got a uh, well, yours truly. Hey OJ, um, I got a note from the Panthers. By the way, I know there's been some a bit of a pain in the ass with the the Marlins Panthers schedule on where to find games. Uh, but uh, Adeline from the Panthers, Adeline has uh, let us know that Saturday's game for the Panthers against Buffalo is going to air on Bally Sports Sun. So just uh, take note, looking for the Panthers game on Saturday. They're back in action tonight, but uh, they will be you on Bally crazy? Sports Sun. Like, I just have a row of Bally stations. Yeah. And I just flip through all of them to see. Some which... do. Yeah, I think if you have certain TVs, they have alternate channels, but some that some people have been frozen out and they have to watch on the app, and it's a pain in the butt to some people. I watch okay. on the app, which... Listen, the beginning of heat season and Panther season was killing me because that Bally Sports app was garbage. They fixed it. But it was uh but if you are looking for it, Saturday's Panthers game is on Bally Sports Sun. Marcos. Yes. Would you like to mix it up? Let's mix it on up. Um, um, um. All righty then. You guys familiar with Coach John Calipari? Sure am. Heard of old Coach Cal, huh? Kind of weird seeing him in red. Very weird seeing him in red, but... But they play the part, don't they? Oh, oh my goodness. Dude. He got out of that blue so fast. <laughs> Woo! So Fair. fast. I tell you what. My favorite is the football coach, and all of a sudden they mysteriously got the, the tie, and then they're saying their little catchphrase. Like, yeah. Oh, my goodness. The accent comes out of nowhere. Family. Oh, my family. I'm like, wow. I, you want to know what I did like, though, about Coach uh, Cal? What? Yeah, what's did you? I mean, did you see all the NBA player reaction to it? Everybody loves him. Yes. Like, Every, Bam, that, Tyler, Cat. Everybody. Everybody. Like, because that dude knew what he was. Look, he changed with the times. He knew he built a one-and-done factory, and they all seemed to, like, you can't deny what his success rate was with it. The thing well, that makes now, it tough, though, is when it goes bad, you only got guys there for one year. Yep, you for know, sure. And you got to do it over and over and over again. And and I don't know what Kentucky was thinking because what do you think? Like, when you do one and dones, if the ones don't work, you got to do it over again. So what did he say, Marcos? If you are – a basketball fan, you have faith in Coach Cal, and you're going to need it if you're an Arkansas Razorback fan as Coach Cal is coming in firing, saying there's only one person on his team currently constructed. We'll see how NIL, Transfer Portal, and other signees respond, but this is what Coach had to say. And you know what? I'm jacked about another opportunity. Like, I'm like, let's go. Now, I met with the team. There is no team. <laughs> so now I got to – Hunter's really extremely confident, but we got to get a roster together. And some of it is a little bit of everything, but we will. It may take a little longer because there are kids that put their name in the NBA draft that are going to go through some of the process. Man. All right. <laughs> I met so with I'd, the team. There hey, is no team. How would you like to be on that Arkansas team? There's not even like a walk on. Like there's not a, there's not an intangibles there. Like you know, like a double zero who's just like Dude, we got it. Coach. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'll say this to you: name an Arkansas basketball player. Mm. I can't. Okay, I can't. So he he wasn't like the fact that he said it out loud. There's a reason why your past coach ain't there no more, right? You guys haven't been very good. And and guess what? Everybody want NIL? Here's the other side of NIL, right? The other side of NIL is if you can get another player, somebody gots to go. Yep. 
So uh, like, like why why everybody talk about yeah, pay the kids, pay the kids, pay the kids. Hey, hey, don't that guess what? When Arkansas was the only one that offered you a, a scholarship and you thought you was gonna get your four years and be able to play college basketball, well, NIL canceled that. You get a year, and if you don't prove you can do anything for the team and somebody else could come in and play that position and get some NIL, you go. What else you got, Marcos? Leroy, this What's is uh, from someone who is near and dear to your heart. Yeah. Christian Wilkins. Oh, come on. <laughs> no. Yes. I know, I know. None of us like to see him in the silver and black, unfortunately. But recently he was on the third and long podcast. And he had a few quotable moments, including whether or not Tua is a system quarterback. Please say no, please say no, please say no. A lot of talk about, you know, throughout the year, uh, Cam Newton, uh, system quarterback versus, um, you know, uh, uh, a special elite quarterback. Mm -hmm. Um, Tua was put in that conversation. You've been around him his whole career. Um, Talk to us about Tua you know, as a quarterback. and Yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I really had a front row seat to Tua and his growth and his development as a player and just as a teammate, as a leader, all that. He came in the year after I was, uh, uh, you know, after I was drafted and everything. So I was, you know, be able to see his whole process and everything like that. And it's, it's just been cool to watch um, mm-hmm. coming in. Like, you know, I feel like in a way we kind of had similar stories. You know, he was obviously highly successful at Alabama, um, you know, national championships and, you know, all of that kind of all that good stuff. So, you know, now you come into the league and it's like, all right, now what? Like this ain't college no more, you know, kind of thing. So obviously he went through his stuff, had his struggles early, but now, you know, Pro Bowl, uh, you know, MVP finalists and all that. And, you know, I don't care what system or what scheme or anything like that. I mean, you, you're the one out there still playing. So I uh, definitely shout out to him, just the things he's been able to do and accomplish. Um, you know, and, I, and it was just cool having a front row seat to watching his development as a player. I don't Man. know. Wait, 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 wait. I, don't I know, know that look, Tobin. Tobin's like, he didn't really say he wasn't. <laughs> I would have liked to, I mean, I would have hoped that Wilkins would have, you Hold know, uh, gone to bat a little can bit I, can more. Can I just say, him. can Jeez. I just say, you hear the part you want to hear. That's mm. not true. I heard right? it all. Because here's the most important line. I don't hmm. care whether it's a system or an offense or whatever. The player still has to go on the field and play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it's just, I mean, they said they said the same thing about Brock Purdy until somebody else was in there. Wouldn't call it a ringing endorsement. I would say it's a <laughs> tepid endorsement. You know, I wish. I think. I think. Uh, like, what, would, well, what would your What would your endorsement be? All right. Hold on. Uh, you be uh you be uh the, the interviewer be like, or whatever his name, three yeah, pod yeah, and, the, and you ask me. Yeah, so you know, Cam and some others said that uh Tua was you know a system quarterback and, and you have been with Tua since the beginning of his career. Um you know, what are your feelings on Tua? He didn't ask, do you think Tua was a system quarterback or not? He said, What are your feelings? He said, What are your feelings about Tua? So I'm gonna ask saying, it the yeah. same way. No, yeah, no, no, no. You uh, can't. Uh, let me answer that. my question. I want to be Frank Christian Wilkins. No, okay, but but right. still answer first, the question. All right. Well, first of all, let me just start and say two is totes adorbs. All right, we both had to deal with that meanie weenie Brian Flores. Okay, <laughs> who was just a bully, and you know, for Tua to have to deal with that harassment earlier in the year while this guy was flirting with Deshaun Watson says something about him. I remember when Flores was doing the same thing with me and Aaron Donald, you know, as mm. you know, one time I was in practice and Flo said, you say you're the next Aaron Donald. You're more like the next Donald duck. Whack, whack. Wow. And, and I was like, wow, that's not nice flow. And so I know okay. the kind of hardship to it was going through this guy. Let me just tell you something, dude. One of, if not the best quarterback in the league, this side of Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Maybe Mahomes. Wow. Okay. He's the best bat. He's the goat. But Tua, uh, he's on the farm, and I don't really think it's crazy what Cam Newton. First of all, fix your hats. Second of all, what Cam Newton said, crazy. Fix your hat. Great, great. That's what I would have liked him to say. Hold on. Ringing endorsement. Hold on. Yeah. 
First of all, fix your hats. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> What's wrong with you? The, like, hey, so you want a grown ass man who just got a hundred million to say totes adorbs? Yeah, <laughs> right. Don't, don't forget meanie weenie. And oh, meanie I'm sorry. Weenie. Hold on. Wait, I'm sorry. Do you understand this guy grabbing people junk during football games? He ain't saying meanie weenie. He also sings Hamilton. <laughs> Not on the field. What is like, mm. dude? Can I just say this? Mm. Your impression of a locker room and football players is so off. Mm. Interesting. So off. Like, holy smokes! First of uh, all, that is as 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 best an endorsement as you could give a player because because wait because here's the thing you have to answer the question so that the follow-up question isn't so where do you think he ranks you see what i'm saying because you don't want to go down that road so that's he answered the question perfectly to avoid the next question which is where why don't you rank him where do you think he is like no. Give us one more, Mar- Marcos. Guys, I think I have found my new favorite sport. If you have an opportunity to join us on our YouTube, Miami Five Hundred and Sixty WQAM, mm-hmm. want your opinion on what I consider to be the future, and that is jetpack racing. We have wow. got to a point in which we have jetpack. <laughs> It's oh amazing. That it is so fast. <laughs> that, you have to get the, the – it's just similar to track. You can't be on the outside lane. You got to be on the inside lane. Hey, but my question is this. Yeah. What, like, Ooh. why they just let their legs hang? Oh, there you go. He's spreading them out. He's trying Ooh. to get aerodynamic oh. on the air. Aerodynamic on them. Yeah. It's making me very nervous. <laughs> it's it's very scary. <laughs> Very scary, but I would like to think Mike McDaniel is watching this like mm, pretty fast. I could uh, see Mike McDaniel hey. having it. I could see Mike McDaniel coaching uh, mini camp in a jetpack. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that a brother? Oh yeah, uh, that is. Uh, oh huh? my goodness! Upset yeah, for you, what? Issa Kalfan. No, no, no. He Look how close, close that race was. No, there's no chance, right? Yeah, for sure. He's. Well, I mean, what he's country is he from? Brother. I don't know. Yeah, we'll look Issa it up. Calfone? Not, we not will, sure. uh, find out where Issa Calfon is from, but we got to take a break. Back with more to this.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Tobin and Leroy here with you, 560 WQAM. Want an uh, update? Well, first, I got to get to Cat Talk. You can't you can't leap in front of me with that. Okay. Cat Talk is brought to us by our friends over at Celsius. Hockey fans, don't sit this one out when it's game time. Make Celsius a part of your play and get that energy up. Ooh. Game day is fueled by Celsius Essential Energy Drinks, the official energy drink of your Florida Panthers. That's a go-to. That cherry apple. That's a go-to. Haven't had in a while. Haven't had. Oh. Yeah. Tart. Get your little. Yeah. Mm. That's my third one today. No. Third. What? 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 That's not true. No, it is true. That's not healthy. No. Well, I had a late night last night. I was boots on the ground and. Oh, true. <sighs> needed to take it forever. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I hope you have food in your system. Why? Oh, that gets me going on an empty stomach. Exactly. Yeah, that gets Whoa. me going. Gets me going. <laughs> the more uh, ways just the cats, they're taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets tonight. And you can hear that game right here. 560 WQAM 7 o'clock puck drop from Amaranth Bank Arena. Uh Sergey Bobrovsky, according to Paul Maurice. Jameson Olive from Panthers.com says Bobrovsky and Net in parentheses for real. Per Paul Maurice. <laughs> His, mo- his, mo- his mouth tricked his mind. Yeah. So just keep that in mind. Dade's house is the can says to only drink two a day. Yeah, that's for your usual Celsius drinker. But I, uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm a Celsius pro, you know. You've built up a, a tolerance to it. Like, yeah. I like Celsius. It's very enjoyable drink, but three sounds like a lot. And it's only 12. I, I do one. Yeah, but again, I was, I, I was, it was late, late, late night last night, J Fig. You know, did you have coffee too? Of course. Exactly. Oh, That's man. why. It's like asking, did I have air this morning? <laughs> you drink oh, it really? just black. Oh, yeah, the gruelier the better. Really? You know, my wife, she got me these. Uh, we have a K cup machine, right? Because it, it's like a K cup slash, you know, regular coffee maker. And I tried like Cafe Bastello K cups, but I don't have the ability like i do at our building to do a four ounce i have to do the Uh standard day that's garbage to me it's not gonna work so i just said this is for guests and i went and got myself the actual ground so i could put that and i can have my rocket fuel i like that because that's how i need it like rocket fuel dude hey it i ain't gonna lie when i first moved down to miami Mm -hmm. and you get the little cafecito and they give you the little cups i'm like i ain't sharing this yeah. They go no, and then I realize that Dade South says that Tobin is a caffeine. In fairness, though, never done cocaine, so it's pretty close to it. Well, I'll never know. That's Three what they say. That's what they say. Cuban coffee. That is. That is scary, dude. It would take like three tranquilizer shots to bring you down right now. <laughs> Timbo oh. says there's Bustello K cups, two watered down. Exactly, dude. They are See, very watered down. And like, I, don't, I don't like. I do really? this, yeah, and I do this they thing at the office. I do this thing at the office, which is very obnoxious. Which is oh, no, so we have no, a, no, no. You got me doing it too. Yeah, so we do this. We have a our machine at the office, the K cup machine. You could do a four ounce cup, an eight ounce cup, even a twelve ounce cup. But what I do is instead of just an eight ounce cup, you I do, do six. Also. Bad for the environment too, but they're bought, so damage is done. Um. I buy, I use two K cups at four ounces. Ergo, I have my eight ounces, but it's good. But I can't yeah. do that with my one at home. So I need to do it au natural. That's what, and, and I just follow the leader and I do it too. <laughs> That's why I also have those little packets that I would throw in. Just yeah. To... Well, let's uh, get to our headlines. But brought then to you it's by the like dirt on Christina. the bottom of my coffee. Well, heat it up. Yeah. Why buy the truck at a car store? I don't think I said that right. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. I don't think my tongue is catching up with my mouth. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know. So you Mullins won last sounds night. Sounds a lot like Paul Maurice. Yeah. Woo! 2011. Paul, Jake Berger. Let's and go. Guess and guess what? Birthday blast. No whopper. Mm. Nah. Damn, but beat those but, Yankees. Yep. Beat the Yankees. Now, it got dicey there at the end. Base yeah. loaded. Aaron Judge up. I was like, oh, it can't go. It can't go down like this. It can't. Oh. And it did, thankfully. But I was very scared. 
Stanton also hit his first career home run against the Marlins. He's now homered against every team in the league. Really? I'm surprised he played that enough games. Well, it's all, what are we, only a dozen in? You never know. You never know. Uh, meanwhile, Leroy, can we uh, head on over to Augusta and get a golf update from the Edwin Watts Golf Shops, home of the 90-day 100% satisfaction guarantee, serving golfers around the country since 1968. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Well, here's how it goes. There's only a handful of people teed off. I want to say there are – oh, no, we got a good – uh, we got about 15 guys that have teed off so far. Um, Bryson DeChambeau oh. has birdied the first three holes. Uh, wow. All right. Van Royen is at two under. Uh, Danny Willett just uh, bogeyed uh, four. He was at two under. Now he's one under. And there is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five guys at one under. All right. Um, including two rookies. Uh, Tiger Woods tees off today at 3.54 p.m. He ain't going to get done. 3.54, 8, no. He's going to have, he's going to probably get to probably 14 or 15. If he can get through 15, that would be fine. Got to hum it along, man. Crazy. He ain't humming. He ain't humming. You could just don't worry about humming. He is not humming. But I have been watching, uh, watching it live. So I am. Quick. Do you have a Do you have a screen in there? No, I'm watching on my computer. Oh, okay. I'm you have it staring. On. I'm staring at the same direction. There you go, man. That is I your. Don't know uh... what I'm watching. That is your update brought to you by the Edwin Watts Golf Shops. Get there. Wow. I saw the Edwin Watts Golf Shops when we, were, Schwartzel. when we were down by a Dural for the uh, live yep. tournament. Live, live. Live, live. Did you guys the, uh, uh, stick around after the show or did you guys? A little know? bit. We, I, went we and got some, I got a couple of hats. Oh. You see, uh, wait, by the way, all the live guys except for Brooks Kepker are wearing their live stuff. I saw that. I did notice that. I was yeah. like, Hey, isn't uh yes? I, I looked at the John Rom like, hey, isn't that his team's logo? Yes, yes. Kind of cool. This live. Did we pick a team officially? Which team can I? Uh... Well, well, the team we wanted to pick is Brooks's there's... team, but he don't wear it, so we can't wear it. And their merch is, is their merch is, is lame as hell. It's lame because he ain't, oh, he don't wear it. Um, there's some cool ones. The the one that Tobin liked was the uh goats. I like range goats, and I like John range Rom's goats. logo. I don't remember what they're called, though. It kind of ah. looks like a dragon. Yeah. Oh. The, the range goats. But here's the deal. They could do so much with merch as far as how they put it together. But the range goats, even though it looked cool, you can't match it with nothing. Range it goats. Like, are... Right. Range goats is Bubba's team. Yeah. So the range goats was cool. There's a lot of like cool ones. The the dumbest one was the upside down team. Yeah, stupid. Uh, all right, we'll take a break. Get back into your Miami Heat. Fifteen minutes of heat is next.
Heat is sponsored by Kendall Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, home of the $8,000 trade. Kendall Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram.com. Ah, uh, 15 minutes of heat here for you. 560 WQAM. Miami Heat lose last night. What is that? A Go Blue wallet? Oh. Golf cover? Cover for my putter. Oh, all right. Oh, it's got, was it the like snap in? Is that what that does? Is yeah. that what we were looking at at the I Live Golf? Something similar to that, yeah. Because I was confused for a second. You didn't know what it was? I asked Tobin. Oh, he, he didn't know. Right <laughs> well, like as a pure golfsman, I don't cover my putter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll show you. I'll go grab a putter and show you how it works. Hmm. So you have your putter just hanging out all in the wind, Tobin? Yeah, you got to. You like? I like my putter to feel the environment. Nice. No, but it gets the face gets chipped, and then your ball doesn't react the way it's supposed to. Uh, it doesn't matter. A, a true golfsman, you know, knows the feel the of it. The fact color. that you call yourself a golfsman. <laughs> uh, Miami Heat. Eh, what do you want? I mean, they lost to the Dallas Mavericks yesterday. Luca. We officially give up? Are we officially like, all right, we're going to be in the play-in? Have we officially just. Yes. Uh, they're, very, they're very likely going to be the play-in. The way no, they, I don't think the way see. They well, I'm gonna all, I'm you're making you an assumption how. they're going to win the next two games. I'm not. Mm. I'm not making an assumption, but he wants to know, are we officially in the play-in? And the answer is no, they're not officially in the play-in. So Hell if, they win, if they win their next two, which is against a tanking Toronto Raptors team. Correct. Um, and then the Magic lose their next two. Now, they lost last night. Great job, Heat. Way to take advantage. If they Magic <laughs> lose to the Sixers... And to the Bucks to finish the season, and the Sixers have to lose their last game to the Nets. Then the Miami Heat would be the six seed via tiebreak. Uh, I believe to read this last. I think it's if the Heat win their next two and the Magic lose their next two, it's still playing. The Heat would host the Magic in the play. So that's and, that's our and the Heat would host the Magic and. Um, Philly would be number six. And Philly would be six, yes, and Philly would be six. So that means you have you have you can go Bucks with a hurt Gian, Giannis, or you can play Boston. The Knicks, right? You if you lose if you're yeah. if, like if you're seven honestly, if you're seven is... you play um you would end up playing um the Bucks. Yeah, the playing is not that bad. If you figure you're taking on a banged up Bucks team, it, but it's the play in problem. If if you if you win the if you win the first playing game, but if you do what the Heat did last year in the play in, which was lose the first game, and getting Clint Capella, and then they had to go win against the Bulls, and it took a run, a furious run with three minutes left, buoyed by Max Struess's shooting, uh, that. And that ended you up with the uh, the one seed against the Bucks. So that's what we're facing right now, Marcos. Okay. Well then, uphill oh, battle. Okay, 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 okay. The reason why I hate the plan and love the plan, right, is that in a one game sample, somebody could get hot and send your butt home. Yeah. It's a terrible spot to be in for playing when you're used to playing series once you get there. And, and the first matchup, the seven eight, is going to be a formidable opponent. Like it's you're right. you're going to be taking on a Sixers or a, a Magic. It's not like you get even last year. The thing that was embarrassing about it is you were the you had your first game. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, but it's the Hawks. The Heat should get this. You say should- that. You say that all the time. Everybody did, dude. Everybody did. Don't act like you thought Clint Capella was going to turn into I Kareem slash Will against but, us. But 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 here's what I do know about sports: in a one game sample, 
playing against other pros. But, somebody could get hot. Somebody right. could do something. The fact that you leave yourself uh, vulnerable to that is your own damn fault. That's point, the thing that terrifies me about the play-in. Yeah, but my point being is, like, it's not going to be like last year's plan. You're going to take on a decent team in this first right? In this first game, all, like, regardless. Yeah. Then right. what you're saying you got to worry about in the consolation prize game, which then you have to go then go take on the Boston Celtics, who, you know, are lapping everybody here's, in the Here's Eastern what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. The Heat are going to host the play-in game. For the seventh seed, we're going to sit here and make assumptions and say, oh, we'd much rather have uh, play a banged up Bucks team. We're going to play it out in our heads. And then as the Heat have done in recent history, they're going to go out and lose by third. <laughs> the, hey, correct. I can't rule it out. Stop me if I I'm wrong. I can't rule it out. I can't right. rule it out. So we out. put all this in front. We put all the scenarios in front. Okay, but the thing about scenarios is what could happen, but the reality of who the Heat are, right, is a whole different story. So, uh, like, yeah, I I, I, I can't. It's so fr- this year has been so frustrating. When last year was frustrating score, too. They could go score one hundred and forty and then score eighty. I gotta tell everybody though, like this is the one thing people are. There are differences between this year's Heat team and last year's Heat team, yeah. but last year's Heat team was just as frustrating. <laughs> it really was. I, I, I know I people guess? don't. Uh, yeah, it was. Leroy, Leroy, do you remember walking in to the game against the Bulls? How down everybody was? I do. I remember walking into that building and feeling like a funeral, not an opportunity. Everybody was ready to pack it up. I remember what it was like. I know it's frustrating because we've been Ooh. the thing that annoys you is everybody is sitting here. We've done this now for two years. It's like you go through this struggle. This year has been, I think, more frustrating because they've been much more banged up this season. 37 starting lineups. Ridiculous. So here's Spo. you know what it sounds like. Yep. What reality is kicking your ass right now. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm not out. But no, I'm down. no, no, I'm no, out. no, no. Because no, a... for the last month, the last month, Marcos, you just don't have the guts. That's it's not what you say to me. It's not true. No, you it's say to true. me. It's not true. I'm saying that's what you would say to me. You don't have the guts. You I mean, don't have how the can guts. I ha- how can you I? You know what? I regardless of what happened, he lose by 30. I'm still going out. He how- five. Leroy. He five. Leroy. He how five. Can- Leroy. I will. I'll be like, listen, when that time comes for that, the time comes for that. But you got to you got to be a big boy and you got to talk about what happened last night. And last night, what happened was Jimmy Butler had more assists to fans than he did to teammates last night. Well, no, no, no. It can't be called an assist because if they would have made the bucket, they would have been in the game. <laughs> you got to make the bucket to get the assist. Jimmy's like, hey, you know what? I'm going to make a kid's day today. You touch a basketball. <laughs> Here's Spo on Jimmy. It's been the last couple of games. He's been throwing it all over the place. Right, Here's, it hasn't uh, been just this game. They look, they turned the ball over a lot the game before. Here's a spo on, uh, yeah, no, that one at the end of terrible. Although that one might have been on Tyler, I don't really know. Either way, here's spo wait, wait, on Jimmy. No, no, you mean the pass way whoop to nobody? Yeah. Here's a spo on Jimmy Butler taking eight shots yesterday. No one obviously reads the game better than Jimmy, and he knows what the team needs. But eight shots tonight, would you ideally, ideally like more than that? What led to that low number of attempts? Yeah, again, now Barry, you know, some of this was, you know, what we left on, you know, out there last night. Uh, I wasn't expecting this to be a 140-point game from us. It was going to have to be in the mud. When do you? Um, you know, somehow, you know, keep this thing, you know, you know, back and forth, you know, through three and a half quarters, and then uh, our guys will find a way to will it, you know. But they jumped out in such an early lead in that first half, you know, the rest of the game we just spent fighting back, you know, to, to get it closer. And we got it to eight, and then all of a sudden, boom, it was it was 13 um, before we could blink. Um, yeah, we, we all are... Uh, understand how important it is to, to get Jimmy uh, going. Our team understands it. Jimmy understands it. The head coach understands it. Um, 
you know, some nights like this, uh, you're just going to have to, to figure out a way, you know, to get it done, and he'll muster up, what, you know, what he needs to do down the stretch. But we can never get it to, to that point. Yeah, well, hey, courtesy. Of- so, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here's what I picture Jimmy doing. Okay? The game is 95-90, middle of the fourth quarter, and he summons up WWE. I mean, we've seen that. To be fair, we have seen Jimmy Butler have games where he looks like he's sleepwalking. Okay, guess what? What? So is D-Wade. But there comes a point where the fact that we're even sitting here saying that Jimmy is going to save us is a problem. It's a problem. I mean, you said that last year. We had those arguments. You walked off the show. Last year is not this year. Jimmy has think... never looked like that. He has, but I mean, it's been oh. more this year. I will agree. It's been more this year. It's been it, it, from him declaring from, from, from him declaring it's that time. Mm. It hasn't been that time. I love the way I love the way you put this on Jimmy. You a fraud. What I do mean? You what? How am I a fraud? He said it's that time. I thought. I How many shows time. have you started on, in 2024 with Jim VP? The ones that did not as many as last year, but the, no, but no, 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 is- no, no. We fought all of January over this. We've been fighting his entire heat tenure over this. I believe in Jim VP. Just a little worried about him. When? When? Okay, is it time yet? Is I would like time? to know if. Well, I tell you what, it wasn't time last. It wasn't time for him to talk to the media afterwards because he's he's like <laughs> he goes. They're like, Jimmy's gonna pass tonight. <laughs> I'm like, what? Pass? You can do that? And then the funny thing was, you go into the locker room, and man, ghost town yesterday. I mean, ghost town. These guys, these these guys were taking their time. And the funny part was Leroy. So Jimmy's just gone. He's not in the locker room, but his cell phone is playing sad country music the entire time. And if you want a loss to feel bad, just have some sad country music on the side. Because I like I hear there's this guy, Bailey Zimmerman, who his whole thing is just sad heartbreak. Like that's all his songs. And you just in this silence and all of the media just staring at each other because there's no players in there. I just hear. Bow. And this guy just goes, and you don't want that smoke. I'm just like, what an appropriate song for right now. Because <laughs> they didn't want that Luca smoke yesterday, dude. Dude, uh, listen. Here. I'm not saying you can't like the team. I'm not saying, hell, we are all fans of the team. Right? I love the Heat. They were a class act. Every single person in that building is class. The whole organization. Uh Okay? But if you look around the NBA, everybody, everybody competing for a championship have two dudes that you can count on 50 or 60 points. Every night, right? And the Heat have done it a different way. The Heat, but I'm this just, th- but I'm I just understand, and I understand what you, I understand what you're saying. And if you don't have two dudes, you have a guy who can regularly give you forty. The thing that is a conundrum about him, though, and Leroy, this is the thing that makes him the guy who says on his commercials when it comes to love, I go nuclear. He's never had a regular season forty point game with the Heat. Right. He's had 13 of them in the hold on. 13 of them in the playoffs. Okay. His scoring titles in regular season, top 15 with the Heat, three of his all-time best performances in the regular season. 13 out of his top 15 in the postseason. He's a diff, he is a you cannot deny. I'm not whatever it is, here. whatever Mojo, you can't deny it. We could say no, it. We can but, we can quit okay, with so- it. He is a different player in the playoffs. He watching is. watching this team, right? Knowing the situation and the opportunity they had. Okay, we just supposed to sit back and say it's coming because guess what? 
The last two weeks was as good enough a time as any to put you in the best possible situation to so win was last a last year. But so was last year. They were in the exact same spot. Leroy, they were. In the, I'm okay, telling you, okay. I looked Let's at just, this. How, Leroy, can I ask you a question? How long do we do this? Last year, it took him literally until the last game. It literally took it to the last game. Last I know quarter. it's frustrating. The last minutes of the last game. True. That's what it took. So it's unbelievably we, frustrating. Gonna, based, on, based on the Jimmy you saw last night, you're telling me it's coming. But I've seen that Jimmy last year too. I, that, that's not based on what you just saw. You're telling yes, me it's if still I, coming. If, if you told me I had to go bet the mortgage on it, I'm not feeling great. No, I got to tell D. Hey, I got to do but a Jimmy do, do you? Do you? Wait. Do you understand, like, here's the funny thing about this guy. He wants to admit something, but he has to put a caveat in it so it doesn't sound as bad. Like, no, that's not true. Do you true. think it's coming? Do you think it's coming? Well, if I had to bet the mortgage. If no. I have to bet the mortgage on it, I got to explain to Mrs. Tobin. No, no, no. Leave her out of it. Leave D out of it. What do you D mean? ain't well, got nothing to do with this. Well, I mean, like, this I'm is not all do on a you. secret. That's a big this, secret. No, this is, this is all on you. Ow, Leroy. This is <laughs> all on secret. you. You ain't got to bet the mortgage. You ain't got to bet nothing. You're telling me, okay, that a Jimmy that I have not seen since last year is going to show up and didn't show up when they probably could have needed him in the last couple of weeks. It's that time, bud. Once it once once it gets to that time. Not January. <laughs> no, January is not that time. January's never been that time. Who said it was that time? He said it was that time. He was a little off. So did oh, he see the shadow? Did see, he not see, see the shadow? See, this is see this this is why. a couple of days off. That's this all. Is you why a little breather. You and your followers, Jim VP will be right on time. Leroy just got to the station too early. Pass that on to Jay Fig. Wow. wow. Minus one for Sass. I'm That's just true. saying. Pass that to Jay Minus Fig. one. He never comes to that. All I need. Nope. Here's what I need. Here's what I need. Don't all right. No, don't tell me what you need. It's <laughs> too late. You are all, all, all in. No. Yeah, a little. I was a little off by three months. Look, because it, everybody was saying to me, including you, he, you kept look, you kept interrupting. No, no, no. Stay right, stay right, stay right, stay right. You know what's on, stay right. Why do you want to be no, saying no, no. that? Like, you ain't got the guts. You ain't got the guts. You don't have guts. the guts. I mean, no, no, I just want to be clear. You don't have the guts. Oh, no, because I That's... keep it real? Yes. Because oh, I keep it real? Look, yeah, man, I, yeah, I'm feeling really a little bit, look, I'm feeling a little bit queasy right now, but I'm still going know. to Jimmy. No, no, no. I'm still going to Jimmy's hibachi, and I'm still going to eat my face off. Like, we're, we're going to go. It's going to happen. Can okay? I just tell you something? I have a feeling if you sit down at Jimmy's Hibachi, mm -hmm. right, it's going to be all the shells from the last party that was no, held. No, that's there. not true. That's not everybody true. Going, <laughs> hey, There's going to be a fresh volcano, uh, onion volcano. And and look, you're not going to badger me into quitting. Like, the more you push, that, the no, more. No, 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 in no. Fact, give me the Celtics. I'll take the Celtics right off the bat. In fact, you know what we should do? We should rest the weekend, and we should tank the seven game, and we should just go – to the to whoever we have to give us Bucks Hawks whoever it is just to set us up for the one eight because we'll take the same path as last year we'll do the Eastern Conference Finals in the first round once again yeah that that worked how many times has that happened well, how many in the times history of the NBA one eight where eight made it to the to the finals twice okay there you go that's what your hopes and dreams are your hopes and dreams and your beliefs is that something that in the history of the NBA has happened twice is going to happen again we did it we did it i don't give a rat's ass who did it it's only yeah. happened twice but just cuz you don't have the guts that's it you're right you're right i don't have the but guts. that's okay i'll be I here don't have I'll... The guts. that's fine but don't like, uh, i want <laughs> i want there you go steve Get him, stunt, Steve. There you go. Read that one. He says, you show up to Jimmy's hibachi, he might not show up. DNP, rest. <laughs> You're an ingrate. Plus ingrate. one. Plus one. No. no. Plus one. Minus one. Minus no. one. Minus <laughs> one. Witcher. Minus one. Just, one You're not going to sit here. No, no. You're not going to sit here, and you're not going to badger me into bailing on the heat. I'm All not right? badgering. No, no, no. Oh, See, you know exactly what you want. 
I know exactly what you want. I just want, listen, you can be a fan. Okay? You can be a fan. That means no matter what, you ride or die with your team. I don't have a problem with that. Okay? But you let your fandom sometimes get in the way of the reality of what's going on here. I feel like I'm on repeat of last year's shows. Last year. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to take a look at those. It does seem eerily similar. Because it seemed like Tobin was doing the fanboy thing, and then we ended up in the finals. So Leroy, yeah. based off of those, for the fans, second, oh, for the second you, time dude, in do the you remember, history of the NBA, do you want to? Do you remember how mad I got at how they lost to the Hornets multiple times last year, and I, yeah. I, I and I and I blew a gasket because Spo wouldn't yell at his team. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. It's very ugly right now. And I really want to say bad things after yesterday's game. If it, if it happens, that time will come. That time will come. I'm not doing it now. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to leave the poker table when we haven't even dealt the hands. No way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Please don't tell my wife I bet the mortgage on Jimmy Butler. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got more of a chance of coming home with a basketball than a win. What if I told my wife, hey, you know the guy here on the horse? <laughs> He's the guy. <laughs> the mortgage on to win the championship. Oh, my goodness. You, like, dude. Jimmy Butler saw it. I, I appreciate Butler. your blind fandom. Jimmy right? Butler saw, saw Joker last year play with the horses after winning the championship. Has, and he said, I got an idea. What if I play with horses before the playoffs? I'm just waiting. Here's what I'm waiting for. We're going to reach into our little hat. Oh, you don't have a hat anymore because you burned it. Uh, I have a hat. I have a hat somewhere here. I have a hat. And we're going to reach into the hat, and I'm going to cut up a bunch of excuses. And we're just going to pull one out of the hat, and you can use that. Look, you just mentioned the hat, and now he disappeared. Uh. No, it, it better just, not it be a top hat. I found it. Clothes, um, I found it. Yeah. Is it burnt up? It. Turn your screen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Luca! Is that wrong? Is it? Is it? Oh, wait, is this did you just start? Wait, did he just call it a Beluka whale? <laughs> oh, Beluka whale! <laughs> <laughs> How horny <laughs> they're fat! Did you see that Slovenians turn around fade away? <laughs> we gotta take him from different Mark Cuban. Wait, Who doesn't wait, even wait. own the Dallas hey. Mavericks anymore? Hey. Leroy, did you ever go into a football game thinking y'all wouldn't win? No, as a player, absolutely not. I'm not a player though. Holy smokes. Let go Dude, of the whale. Can I just tell you something? You better go, J Fig. Yes. You need to do one of those. What do y'all call it? A Santa Ria or something like that? Seance. Seance, yeah. something. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I if I was at home, I'd bring you a chicken foot and a doll so you can I love how you directly yeah. point at me with this. What? Oh, no, you knew. Because it's oh, Latino. You. It's Latino. Are you not Latino? You knew. If you ask I mean, if you, you ask me about voodoo, I could tell you about that. I thought you were just going to go right. with God. I understand exactly what you mean. Yeah. Okay, what is, with... uh, what is it called? What is it called? No, I know what you mean. I get okay. it. Mm. That's what you need. Take your boy. Take your boy, Tobes. Y'all go down to one of them duplexes that do uh, boobs and butts on the other side. And that's, then go to that's... the one next door and they're going to do a seance. By the way, speaking of, I'm glad you mentioned butts. What? Um, have you noticed during commercials for heat games i don't know if this is just on the bally app uh have you noticed that they're advertising something called the british basketball league aka yes. the bbl, BBL. Yeah. Oh, okay. do they not have those in england <laughs> <laughs> oh by the way by the way uh Issa calfon is uh uh believe it or not a gymnast from england oh okay but no no don't ignore what i asked does no. England not realize their league is called the BBL? No. <laughs> They're just like totally fine with it. Uh, is that like no? 
Oh, you know what I'm saying? So they think like you British it basketball. Is on me. Purpose. It, you, it was yeah, it's gotta be on purpose. It's gotta I mean, be on purpose. You think? Oh, it was founded before the BBL. It the was one you're familiar with. It was founded in 1986. It was. It was indeed. Yep. What year did BBL start being a thing? I think. It, wow. I think wow. they gotta fix that, dude. They definitely have to fix that. No, it's not, it's not. BBL. It's hmm? BBL. It's dude. BBW. Huh? Well, okay. No, no, oh. no. That's that's different. Different oh, thing. Is it? Different thing. They're both a thing. <laughs> I think we gotta go to break if I'm not mistaken. I, I, oh, I, I, I didn't know it was BBL. Take yes, it's both. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Gonna be a great home for Kyle. Lowry. I'm out, listen, so, I'm out of that. I'm out of that game, so it don't matter anyway. You say the, BBL, Lowry, the BBL would like to announce uh on a one-year deal Kyle, Kyle Lowry. Lowry. He, he's gonna be he's gonna be BBL is gonna be Kyle Lowry's title sponsor. I'll say that, Chester. Look at that rump. Oh, <laughs> no, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> for the BBL. Hey, no, now it's this, time for break. For this break. is how your radio show goes when your team is p- playing in the play-in. I'm Chelsea Messenger helping you beat.
Yeah. Welcome back. So to Leroy. Tandy up until two here on the program. You're right, man. Yeah, I was watching a little golf. How's it going out there? Give us a uh, golf well, update hey. brought to us by the Unwatched Golf Shops. Get there. The Masters Day One uh, off to a delayed start, but uh, what do we got going on there right we now? We got we got a, we got a, a almost a full golf course. Um, Eric Van Royen, Bryson DeChambeau, Ryan Fox, and B. Yunan are all at three under. Uh, Eric Van Royen is on the back nine, so he's farther along. So is uh, Jake Jake Knapp, Danny Willett. Christian Lambrick, who's a, a, a amateur, we're all at two under, and then you have uh, six at one under. So not, you know, not they're lighting it up, and it's weird because um, with the rain, the torrential downpour, you think the golf course would be softer, but they have um, I forget what it's called. Uh, it's a a system where it sucks the water out of the greens when it rains so they can continue to play when it rains a lot but it's something air I, I can't think of the name of right off hand uh where again literally it sucks the moisture out of the greens and out of the golf course right. so they use that um other than that that's really about it uh tiger will tee off in a couple of hours um but yeah it's just uh i hope you can get close to done Ugh. yeah that's a that's gonna be a brutal stretch if not because if he only uh, has to play two or three holes, that's okay. Right, right. If you're talking about six or seven, eight, oh, it would be a struggle. Get to uh, some headlines here brought to you by the new Palmetto, Palmetto Ford Truck Supercenter. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know trucks. Shpethan says the Heat used the same thing to suck the life out of the family. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what it's called. Something air. Well, listen, uh, just uh, just do it. Witcher. Just do what uh, ba- what uh, what Bam's doing, everybody, and just get some sun. That's uh, that's how he's uh, that's how he's he's taking today. I'll Over the next forty six or forty four hours to collect everybody in here, collect themselves. Uh, go out, get some South Beach sun, um, get your mind off it, and recuperate. Literally the worst answer of. Has he not heard there of it? Is. It's called sub air. Ah, it is. Uh, it it is a terrible answer by him. Yes, I mean, and and here's the thing. They've all had the same attitude, and each one has built on it, right? From the relax. Oh, we just need to relax and we'll come back time, and be ready to play. I'm like, when is it going to be? Time. Can I tell you the thing that would actually make me happy? This is that what they win a game that would make me happy. That would make me very happy. But what would actually really make me happy is has about what about a game where they blow a big lead instead of every single game that's important, they come out and have to get smacked right in the face, down 18, and then they start getting it going. Can that happen one time? We're like, oh, Pacers, biggest game of the season. O of eight from three. Oh, Philly, let's get it going. Maxi and Embiid go crazy. Heat dead. Ah, oh, Luca comes out of the gate hitting thirty foot bombs. While the Heat turning the ball. You can't over do nothing to defend that. So I'm, I'm, you know. I'll give you the pass on the Luca thing, but still, yeah. Still, like the turning the ball over left and right. Oh my God! That's very nice. un like it's. That's so annoying, dude. So annoying. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Because because oh, listen, I'm apologizing. Here's why it's annoying. You don't score enough points to be giving away freebies. You see what I'm saying? Like it, possessions are, you know, paramount to the way that he play basketball because they don't score a lot of points. Agreed. Agreed. Biggest Even, team in the year to score 80 points. The hell out suppose of like, oh, I didn't think this game was going to be in the 140s. What game does he think is going to be in the 140s? 
does he ever think it's going to be like he? There are games where Spo goes, could be a shootout tonight. <laughs> he said he liked it out of the cement or something like that. Yes, yes. Oh, he no, loves which, he loves yeah. loves games in the mud. I love those oh, games. Yeah. Love them. Yes. Love them. Great. Eric Spo. Eric Spolstra must relax. He must be like a, a mud bath guy because that just seems where he loves to live is in the mud. Like, oh, this is great. Nobody wants to see a 2-1 filthy in basketball. Sorry. He's he's sitting there. He's sitting there getting a mud bath with like cucumbers over his eyes. Chris Quinn's like, Spo, can we speed it up a little bit? He goes, nah. Right now. Right now. Not, not now, Quinny. I'm, I'm relaxing. This is a sweet bath. spot. Right here. <laughs> Oh, this is good. What do you think about Spo? <laughs> think about defense. Love it, Mister Spolster. We only have uh, two more cucumber slices left. We have enough. Do you think Spo <laughs> just got bored of offense because he was just like, you know what? Offense is never going to get better than positionless big three. He goes boring. Yeah, I figured that out already. Because you remember, like Greg Popovich said, he hated the three point shot. Hated it. He hates the three pointer. He hates basketball today. Maybe Spoh's just bucking against the trend. He goes, I hate it. I don't like. I don't like the way it's going. I don't want to. I don't want to conform to everybody else. Do it my way in the mud. Well, good, great. We can all make mud pies in about a week. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see Eric Spolstra at one of those like Warriors obstacle courses. You ever see those things? Oh, yes, those, those things where people go out on that like a, to a park yeah. on the weekend. They're literally just. Yep. Slumming through the mud. How is that fun? I don't know. Should ask Spo. I know people through. that do it. They go, oh man, it was awesome. Awesome for what? Those people aren't good at sports. No. Spo should not be doing that. He has a bigger obsession with mud than he does with basketball. I want to <laughs> they really- saw, they're just hoping culture will come to the, save the day like Superman. Do you think like no, you know, that's like need, underdog? What we underdog need is, is like here to save the day. What we need is for Eric Spolstra and Mike McDaniel to go to like a retreat, and they both need to like get the best part of each other to themselves. You know, like Mike McDaniel, like he needs to tell Mike, he's like, "Hey, Mike, it's okay to run the clock out every now and then." And he goes, "Hey, Spo, don't be afraid to run a fast break." <laughs> he want he like which is crazy because Spo says, "I want." Oh, the yes. worst fast break team I've ever seen. Like, I don't even think that's on him. They're, they're, they're so terrible at it. Every single time. It's like, oh, layup. Nah. Whoo, surprise. Kick to Haywood Highsmith. That's on me. My bad. Hey, guys. Uh, not every. Lack so of at- I don't know. I don't know. But just so we're clear, Miami Heat, only Kevin Love's allowed to chuck it down the court. That's it. Every one of uh, the rest of you, dude's a Hall of Fame. He's a Hall yeah. of Fame quarterback. Yeah, the rest of you guys, check downs. Okay. And, and and Nico, you can't take it out anymore. You just yeah. throwing it willy nilly to uh, anywhere on the floor. I can't be mad at him though. That face, I know. <laughs> adorable. Plus, he's come on. Yeah, we needed him too. We needed, we needed him. every moment from that double overtime. I'm so proud of you, Nico. <laughs> Take over this team. You are the face of the franchise now. Yimi wants to shoot commercials. Bam wants to sunbathe. Only one person has their big nose to the grindstone. My little Nico. Okay. <laughs> My favorite part about yesterday was hearing Nico's mom. <laughs> She had a lot to say. Here we go. Another turnover from me. <laughs> Selfish. <laughs> he tells my Nico, oh, Nico, you need to play. When you going to play? <laughs> oh, when you going wow. to turn it on? Oh, Mama Yovi is mad. <laughs> Old man holding my boy back. He idolizes you. And you sit here, oh, east that time. Last time I checked, better early than late. Looks pretty late to me. No one's safe, dude. No one is safe around there, except for everybody. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and even then, even then, sometimes she's actually pretty good at all these plays. <laughs> How much do you think Kyle Lowry would love to eliminate the Miami Heat from the playoffs? Oh, oh my God, I don't even want to think about that. Dude, like that would just be so fitting. You want to talk about cheeks? Just moons the heat right on the way out. Oh, you like that? He just going to bounce on his ass off the court. Oh, <laughs> and somehow still draw a charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So you're telling me you see a situation where it's like Miami Heat. Miami Heat gets sent to the eight seed via Kyle Lowry. <laughs> yeah, because he had to score 30. Make like six or seven threes. <laughs> and then Spoh's going to shake his head. Could do that with us. Huh? Oh. Uh. I may do another commercial. More commercials than buckets lately. You see Man. Nico doing commercials? No. All business. Don't worry, baby. Franchise built around you this summer. Summer <laughs> of Yovi. Whoa, okay. This is a complete change from uh from from Jimmy oh, time. I mean, previously she was she wanted him to go back to school and finish his degree and learn from Jaime. Now even uneducated goat can see oh. God Papa needs to blow it up. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. Coach Spo. Never met offense. His offense stuck in 2010s. Oh my Time goodness. to get it together, Coach Spo. Fit cat. Okay. Big contract. <laughs> so th this gives me the vibe of like a comedian who's saying things <laughs> that, like, oh, it's the puppet, dude. It's not me. <laughs> probably... <laughs> That's not fair. It's not me. <laughs> That's not me. That's my Mama Yovi. Oh, you, can't, you can't blame me for a bit. That's not fair. <laughs> She said that it wasn't Tobin. Baba says that uh, Eric Smolch is a fat cat. I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't her. It wasn't me. It was her. If I have to watch one more minute of Patty Mills, oh. swear to God. Patty Mills, dude, he is still working for the Spurs. I'm positive. What did DeLon Wright do to Spo? He like he came out. I feel like every time he's out there, he's just doing solid stuff. And Spo yesterday just like, got to give Patty Mills one more try. You know just why? Got because he won. He won somebody who can score. And when does that happen for Patty Mills? He made a three. I, what is that? Is, is that three on his heat career? Three total. Oh, that's like less than one a game because he's been horrible. Mm -hmm. I'm not he has been absolutely horrible. I mean, like, and Duncan when, out too. We miss it okay. so much when you're two stars. Two when you're two stars score twenty. It don't matter what everybody else do. That's a fact. That's fair. No, I, I totally so, agree so with you. Stop telling me you talking about Yovi and Patty Mills and DeLon Wright and Hayward Highsmith. And if your two stars, as you put it, this team is going to go as Bam and Jimmy says, correct? If they only put up 20 points. I don't care what the game plan is. I don't care. When, if you go to any other team, they go to their two stars, and that's the first thing you see on the ticker. So-and-so scored 65. So-and-so scored 70. So-and-so scored four. Not 20, dude. Not 20. Because, look, even when Giannis and, uh, and, and Dame was bumping heads, if the other one sucked, the other one was scoring 40. Don't worry, Leroy. Bomb's getting sun today. He'll be better. Worst response, dude. Why did he <laughs> see that? Uh, Damn, what do you think you guys need to do? Not watch film. Not decom. He's like, you know what I'm thinking? South Beach. More rest. <laughs> Although, to, to their credit, they have been playing a lot of games. Can, can I the just say this? Everybody's playing a lot of games. I I know. Know. Can I just say this? Reaching. Astron is not supposed to affect the home team. <laughs> you just right? think what, Astron has Astron taken over the life sleeps. of... 
ever since that Camila Cabello was around. Oh, for the big you... season. It's true. It is true. I Look at the record. I love you when they call me Senorita. I can't hit any buckets, even more need ya. <laughs> and then break shots like ooh la la la, ooh la la la. See, March six was when uh, she was courtside. I can't even lie; that was really good. Okay. <laughs> I want to point for time. Oh, that me. We should, ha- hey. should have a point for Babushka. Hey, hey it say, this, is, this didn't happen when Shakira was around. WQAM broadcasting live.
All right, welcome back. Tobin Leroy here with you, 560 WQAM. Marlins off today. Take on the Braves tomorrow. Tough series. Oof. At home? But riding momentum. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Another chance for that whopper. They got to get one, right? You got to get your first home win, Leroy. Has to happen. Yep. Has we to, actually right? have the league right where we want them, dude. Watch this. Watch this. You think like they're not ready for it, Marcos? Like the element surprise is going to be there for the fish? You, you, you watch. You watch this Peter Bendix, the Skip Schumacher. They're going to whip them into shape, baby. Here we come. Ten game win streak. Whoppers for everyone. That would be nice. I mean, that would. That be would nice. be a whopper, all right. <laughs> I just told Marlins uh, improved to two and eleven yesterday with a win over the Yankees. Uh, <laughs> That's perfect. That's a perfect Florida fan right there. The Fins have won the only two games I bet against them. <laughs> did you uh did you watch any of the uh the soccer last night against uh the the Pinks? They lost to Monterey. No, I didn't watch any of that. Nah, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it either. I was on my way home and I was what like, was the yeah. score? Three one, I believe. Oh, so, so uh, they are out play? of the they're out of the cup. He did play. He did play, but the but the uh, the Monterey got their revenge against him because Dan Day was explaining to us. I, I think I saw a play from Calendar. Yeah, right. bad play. Yep, he like, like let it go, like right. He passed it like right to his opponent. Like w- w- what? He's uh, right in front of you. Must have been watching Jimmy Butler film before the game. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. In the stands. He would have had a better chance last <laughs> if he would have kicked it in the stands. Yeah, fair point. He did fair. throw it into the stands. Hey, Leroy, can you get a weather update from the Demesman and Dover Law Firm? Sure can. Your accidentattorneys.com, free consultation 24-7. Call them up at 866-954-MORE. All right. It's a little quiet outside because, as I was informed, we are going to lunch. Uh, Mostly cloudy. Woo! It looks cloudy. Winds are coming out of the west, southwest, and I got to tell you, it's 15, 20 miles an hour and gusting 25 plus. Uh, and I would say it's about 82, 83 degrees. How you do, Marcos? Uh, pretty good. The only thing that was off was the temperature, which I'm having problems believing that it is as high as it is listed. He was correct. The winds are coming out of the southwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour with higher wind gusts possible. So keep that in mind. If you have long drives on the highway, it will be very windy. Uh, they have it listed at 89 degrees. So I don't believe them. Oh, yeah. Hey, hold yeah. on. Although, although, again, as I, I informed up. you, when the wind comes out of the south, it warms up pretty quick. Yeah, I woke um, up today. I was like, oh, it's a soupy day. Mm. Hold on. Let, let's, let's back up. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, if you're driving, be careful. It's going to be windy. Oh, so windy. You ever feel that? Sometimes you're on the highway. Oh, I feel that. He's right about that. I feel some He's car definitely wind. right about that. Yeah. Whoa. Well, you drive a tank, Leroy. You never feel anything, I'm sure. That's true. Beautiful tank. I'm not buying it. Oh, okay. It's true. <laughs> okay. I can do a reenactment. Whoa! <laughs> the, the only thing that comes after that is I'm high as a kite, Yogi. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, could you imagine looking at a car next to you and Yogi and Boo Boo are driving the car? <laughs> I'm high as a kite, Yogi. <laughs> <laughs> all about whoa! Troublemakers, whoa! dude. Maybe. Maybe the, next, the next era of that is uh is is Yogi and Boo Boo going to ayahuasca with Ricky Williams. Oh, oh yeah. You think they'd go with Ricky Williams or Aaron Rodgers? I'd go with Ricky. I I'd go, Aaron, I'd go I feel like Aaron Rodgers mess with me on my ayahuasca trip. Ricky'd be gentle, you know. Yeah. Did you guys Ricky, see Ricky that, explain uh, the background of it, where it came from? Why they use it, and you just be sitting there, just staring. Yep. Yeah. 
hypnotized. Yeah, I see. Uh, I think there's reports out that Aaron Rodgers was attempting to harness the eclipse in order to help heal his Achilles. Did you see that? Please tell me your I can't believe it. No, but that, that sounds like a real headline, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> He attempted, yes, essentially, he said, during the eclipse, if you laid on the earth with your back on the ground and your ankles in the air, the healing powers would allow him to be ready for week one. How, and how then they should take him right from that position to the loony bin. How how long before he starts doing his press conferences every week in a hot yoga studio with a gong? Wow. All right, we'll take a quick break. The return of Goosey's. Hmm. No goosies. That's next.
Welcome back, everybody. Time to get through a little gooseys. No gooseys. Good to have it back. Yes. Missed I, it. Yeah. Missed it. I missed you, you frog you. boy. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Happy to read these off. I knew if you didn't get to it today that JFig would be very upset. And very we don't upset. Want, well, she really likes uh, killing birds. So, you know. I like the to... sounds. I like the hot yeah. button keys. Mm-hmm. You know, you know how she gets. So uh, right. what do we got today, Froggy? Starting off with the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, um, they oh killed us yesterday. Killed us indeed. Uh, but got an interesting little clip here, courtesy of uh, one of our boots on the ground fellas here. Uh, we got Jason Kidd's opinion on Nikola Jovic. Nico, dude. This is what the head coach of the Mavericks had to say. Nikola Jovic for the Heat uh, has had two of his higher scoring games in the season back to back. What's kind of jumped out to you in the lead up to this game about him? Yeah, I think his comfort level. I thought last night he was really big. He made a big three. Um, and just, I think, looking at his his comfort level out there on the floor his teammates trusting him uh he, he has a very um, high skill set you know when you talk about his athleticism um he's long um he can shoot it he can put it on the floor so you can see that he's getting comfortable playing yeah it's goosey's galore dude i mean i want to tell you that he's sweeping the league yep goosey's um, on top of goosey's i was begging for this last year so you know I got goosies, goosies. galore. Goosies. You know I got. You know I got gooseies. Jfig. Goosey. <laughs> I thought she was saying boo for a second. <laughs> Before frog boy answers, let me just say, okay. no gooseies. What? Oh no! Classic. Wow. Keep your friends close. <laughs> And mm-hmm. enemies closer. He compliments you. And what happened last night, Nico? Oh, for four downtown. Mm. You got lured right into Hall of Famer's <laughs> trap. No gooses. We don't want your compliments, Jason Kid. Wow. You know, that's a good point. This is the man that once uh, forced his player to run into him to pretend to drop a cup of water and, and buy a little extra <laughs> time. <you know? laughs> True. You know, he's not above doing things outside of the lines. So, you know, I think you got me there, Mama Yovich. That was a good point. And I'm going to say no goosies as well. No wow. goosies. What else we got in goosies? No goosies, dude. All righty. Now, uh, are you guys familiar with Michael Irving? Yep. Playmaker. A playmaker himself. Kane's legend. Here he is speaking to Kane's before spring game according to Mario Cristobal does the fact that Michael Irvin is able to speak to these canes prior to uh, their spring game give you goosies or no goosies oh goosies I mean who's better to speak to the kids than Michael Irvin before a spring game he's going to get you all goosed up so it's absolutely goosies perfect person this weekend yeah, I would say I would say that if yes. you brought somebody back who could fire up the the new and young kids playing for the University of Miami, it would be him. Or, you know, Ray Lewis. Mm, yep. Yep, <clears throat> agreed. You got some good or, options. Or or Ed Reed. No. Oh. You, you you know the guys. You know oh, the yeah. guys. You know. <clears throat> you know. You know. What about you, uh, Jennifer? I like it. They need it. Oh, they do need it. They do need it. Marcos? Definitely gives me Goosey's playmaker legend. Goosey! Of course, can uh, listen to your spring game coverage this weekend right here on 560 WQAM. Uh, what else we got in Goosey's No Goosey's today, Marcos? What would you guys do with an extra million dollars? Finish my roof. 
That's fair. <laughs> Uh, um, well, I would buy some type of furry exotic animal. I'm thinking bush baby oh, or yeah. capybara. Oh wow, is that like a is that a Brazilian jiu jitsu or martial arts? What is uh you're buying a capybara? That's capoeira. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> capybara is a giant. Is that a bird? Bro, that, is a, that is a huge. I you think you were thinking of a cassowary? No, Pots. not okay. not our former program director Todd Castleberry. I uh, cannot possibly understand I mean, those many animals. how this guy knows every animal in the and animal kingdom, but at times can't spell enjoy. <laughs> it was one time. <laughs> what is this animal, dude? This is a big squirrel gerbil. Yeah, it's giant squirrel, squirrel gerbil dog. I'm not sure how I feel. Did about you it. put a leash on it? Mm. Uh yeah no he'd be my emotional support animal. All right, that's fair. At this you point, know, assuming assuming Sunny Bunny and him could get along. Mm. I mean, but Sunny what's not to love? Probably be terrified. And your nah. dogs are upset. No, somebody just walked in. <laughs> wow, look. Uh, what would you do with an extra million dollars? Me personally, that's easy. Just buy a lifetime supply of Dippin' Dots, but. <laughs> And You're the, such a child. It's super easy. <laughs> apple juice as well. I gotta throw some apple juice in there. Uh Figgy, what about you? Extra million. What you got? All the concert tickets your heart can desire. Oh, that's a good one. Wow. Yeah. Have, uh, I would I would just make sure my whole family name. is my whole family's just um well off. That's, Lame. that's my number one concern. Lame. <laughs> Lame. Yeah, you know, right. concert tickets. Jennifer. When when you get your own place, nah. Yeah, but my family comes first. Okay. Boring. Get Scooby some iced out collars. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can bully me about it. No face. Yeah. Scooby one around with a big ass dog chain. He can't hold his neck up. His neck would be dragging on the ground. He'd be like, Rah. the boy barely weighs ten pounds, guys. What? Uh, why are you asking? Chain. Why are you asking such a question, uh, Marcos? Well, I ask your opinion on what you do with an extra million dollars because someone we know, uh, not personally, Kyrie Irving, got an extra $1 million bonus if the Mavs reach 50 wins. Yeah, he got oh, it last God. night. Oh, they got <laughs> it last night. So <laughs> an extra million dollars. He was apparently walking off the court going, million dollars! <laughs> So there you go, uh, extra million hey, dollars so, for Kyrie. So Irving. that's what he would do. He's been paid over two hundred million in his career. That's what he'd do for an extra million. And what would he do to not be in the play in? Mm, I wait. Know. No Does goosies, though. Goosies? I mean, it comes at no. Oh. It comes at our expense. Why would that yeah, give me goosies? No goosies. No goosies. No, no goosies. No goosies. I'm not like yeah, like good, good for him, but it can't be at the expense of. He could have got fifty last game or the next game, but the fact he did it against your team. You can't give him goosies. No. Hmm. Fair. No, he would probably love. They'd probably love to give Jimmy Butler like a sixty-game bonus. Just like, hey, can you give us sixty? I mean, they are paying him for eighty-two. That's fair. Uh, J Fig, what about you? You got goosies for Kyrie's fifty-win bonus of a million dollars? No, to be honest, I have a lot more goosies just watching the rug get very tangled in his little cave. <laughs> oh, okay. Not tangled. Goosies. Also, like. So- Hey, Before you, you be, went, let me ask you something, dude. Could you be farther away from your microphone? Like, where, where are you going? Yeah, you, know. <laughs> you look like you look like a, you honestly you look like an astronaut drifting off into space. Like we see the cable, like hey. it's the only thing connecting him to the. Cable. Can y'all? Can, okay, can y'all stop picking on me? I didn't do nothing. If you in a bad mood, don't take it out on me. I'm not in a bad mood. Wow, you're after everything start, you do. <laughs> You and your little sudden jabs. There's no sudden jabs. What are you talking about? Uh, what about you, Marcos? You got uh, goosies for Kyrie Irving's riches? Oh, the rich get richer. Sick of this guy. No goosies. <laughs> Actually, he's been playing pretty good without any yes. any noise. Yeah. And during an election year, this is this is amazing. I, I kudo to to them in Dallas. Didn't any, he didn't have any weird takes about the eclipse. Imagine that. You know that that would have been like prime Kyrie time. He goes, Oh, the eclipse, if that's what you want to call it. No, because Chuck did it first. Mm. 
Has Kyrie Irving played with the best players of all time? Now I think about it. Pretty much all the ones in the league. <laughs> yeah, LeBron, AD, Luca. He wants to play with who he wants to play he's, with. Jimmy. He's Robin. He's Robin. Yeah. Pretty good Robin, hey, though. Nothing wrong with uh, being a good sidekick, dude. Oh, he's Robin Hood. He'd be Batman on this team. Now, the only thing you can't do is you can't get another Robin because then he gets really pissed. He goes, yeah. oh, James mm. Harden, that's what you wanted, Kevin? Oh. No thanks. I'm out of here, dude. But before mm. you do that, tell them, tell the Brooklyn Nets you want everybody fired. Yeah. No, not even that. Remember, it all started because of COVID. Yeah, well, that too. Yeah. But that was after, then after COVID, he was still was like, eh. Yeah. What else you got, Marcos? All righty, we talked about it before. Come on now, just just give me just just entertain the idea. Hmm? Xavier Worthy, we talked about him earlier. He is a Texas wide receiver known for breaking the record at the combine forty yard dash four point two one. Come on, let's take a look at his Instagram post one more time. Come on, wow. Does that give you goosies? Look at how look, he's looking. Look at come on. That's longing. That's 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 a beautiful oh, smile by Mike McDaniel. Ooh. That's fast. goosies for me. So fast. That's Ooh. goosies, dude. Wow. Just think of the possibilities. More speed. Yeah. No. Oh. Why? No goosies. Oh. Mm. Tough crowd. If you want to be irresponsible, then go ahead. I do want to be irresponsible. I know you do. I want two things. A copy bar. Responsible. All I want is a copybara. Xavier Worthy. <laughs> okay. Which is a big rat. Not a bird. <laughs> Very strange. Thought it was a bird. You got the goosies, Jay Fig, for Xavier Worthy loving Mike McDaniel on Instagram. I mean, come on, look at that face. Look how look he's looking at, at him. Goosey. Look at the smile on Mike. McDaniel. That made me realize even more how small uh, Mike is. Mike's very tiny. Yeah. Mike's very tiny. But you think he goes, he, you think Mike goes to him, he goes, hey, X, you're my new X. But new X. First, I need to convince Chris Greer not to be a nerd and build the <laughs> trenches. Okay. Is that why they were laughing? Because they called him a nerd? Probably. Dude, you were so... Mike? Like, you'd be the first one if the offensive line sucked. Mike. And then here's what he'll say. Me. He'll say, I can't believe they did it. They're supposed to be responsible. I'm the one that can do that. They're not supposed to do it. That's not... I mean, it is their job, not mine. My job is to be a fan. Mm. I got you. Got a point? Chris Greer's over by like the uh, he's over by the centers. Mike, come on, man. We're supposed to be watching blocking drills. No, no, no. One sec, Chris. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Do the thing again. Do the thing again. What do you mean? What thing? Come on, X. Do the thing where you run really fast. Just run. Just run. <laughs> just just run. Just run like the wind. The train oh. is very creepy. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. Come this on. Creepy. I think Mike McGinn has a speed fetish. So I think that's uh I think that's totally doable. You think so? I think so, man. So he, instead of a, he's the new Raiders owner. Instead of a furry, a, he's a fasty. He's a fasty for sure. <laughs> he's just thinking. He's just thinking to himself. Mostert and Tyre and Tyreek. And these Wyatt are how shows go Devon when you know H-Champ. your team is. This, these are how shows go when you know your team is in the plan. Pew. Maybe Mike McDaniel's just, you know, because maybe he's just become too obsessed with speed, you know, like mm-hmm. he goes down the rabbit hole of like Pornhub and like, you know, you know he's desensationalized. So he goes, ah, HN, but what's faster than HN? 14. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. There's Base a new for turn, man. You never know. Remember John Ross? Oh, dude, come on. Oh. What a nerd, Dade South. What? John Somebody Ross was faster. Uh, give us one more, Frog Boy. Final one, Jake Berger, homering on his birthday. Oh Ooh, man, happy birthday! Uh, Goosey's just because he's a friend of the show. Yes, right. Goosey. Yeah, sure. Goosey's, Goosey's, Goosey's Goosey's. He's a good player. Galore, Goosey's. Biggie. 
He's an Aries. Goosies. Whoa. Wow. Goosies. Are you an Aries? Yeah. When is your birthday? When is your birthday? Next week, guys. Whoa. I knew that. I just want to make sure you knew that. Right before you cut off. You think you include yourself in the newsletter? Maybe. What happened to you? You know what? Just so I can make you guys talk about me, that whole first page, my face. <laughs> and I cannot wait to hear the responses. Do you? Frog, do you? Frog boy, you got a goosey from Jake Booger. Wow, is that how you pronounce his name? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and say, indeed, I have the goosies. Goosies. Oh, I like that one, man. Seems like yes. he got pinched in the pinched in the cheeks. Goosies. Mm-hmm. Like he's tickled. Because <laughs> you pronounce it for booger. Yep, that uh, Mrs. NFL voice came by. Goosies. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. You know what? This silly show made me feel better about that heat loss. Everybody have a great rest of your day. And we'll talk to you rascals tomorrow. I great love you when they team. call me senorita. Mm. I can't hit any buckets, even more need ya. <laughs> <laughs> And then brick shots like ooh la la la, it's ooh la la la. It's not BBL. Hmm? It's, it's BBL. It's BBW. I haven't been 170 pounds since I hit double digit age. That's what they said last time. Baby got big, oh, and then God. all of a sudden, what happened? Little in the middle, but she got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Twitter world, yours truly. I see y'all when I see y'all.